So, uh, morning everybody, I'm Omni Rusted. You know this whole welcome to Build 41 public beta, work in progress, bugs and balance issues, um, called uh, it bums. That stands for I will back up my save. And I, I, I didn't. And I after after the last stream, um, I logged in and all of my saves, including my personal ones, uh, were I mean not this one this was a new one, but all of my saves were corrupted. Uh, yeah. So that was fun, and yeah, we lost everything, which sucks. A lot. So we got to start a brand new game. Um, oh, oh, I almost forgot, actually, before I start this. I had a mod recommendation. Yes, scrap guns. Uh, somebody said uh, that this was shown to me by Lime, uh, uh, Private Lime. Um, you're able to actually make guns and ammo that are not the best, but like I'll, that you can actually make guns that don't suck ass, which is interesting to me. Uh, it's not necessarily that we're, we're not necessarily we're not necessarily guaranteed to use said guns. Um. Hmm. But it'll be interesting. Yeah, potato guns. Like, exactly. Like, uh, th there's guns with, like, air canisters, paintball guns, stuff like that, you know? And you can make the ammunition out of scrap, so, uh... It's interesting. It's a, it's a, it's a very interesting thing to me. So, we're gonna start a brand new game. We're gonna go straight back to, uh... I feel like I should rename this, because apparently there is... There is a Day of the Dead actual, like, thing that people have been using. I have yet to get the courage to fire a gun in PC. It's honestly not as bad as people put it out to be. Uh, you just have to... Have to keep in mind that it's going to make a lot of noise. Uh, so you basically never use it near your home unless you're really well protected. And confident. So anyway, uh, population high, urban focused, start month August 1st, water shut off and electricity shut off per set of two months, you know, zero to two. Morning, Evie. Uh, farming is all normal. Sadistic AI director. I put the helicopter to sometimes because I am a masochist. Loot rarity is all extremely rare. Character does have multi-weapon hit. Everything else is normal. Uh, vehicles have a normal chance to have gas because it makes no sense that all vehicles have zero gas. The zombie lore, zombies are weak and fragile. Infection mortality is almost instant. Memory is short. They do environmental attacks. Uh, they are only active during the day. And they do trigger house alarms. Because it made no sense why they didn't. And this is the most important one here. Population multiplier doubled. So it is a high. Population start multiplier is at a quarter of normal. Uh, peak multiplier is 4. Population peak day is 25. No respawns. Rally group size is 50, rally travel distance 50, rally group separation 25. Now, I'm thinking, with how we've gone, Burglar might not be the best start for this particular, uh, this, this particular scenario. So, the big question is, what do I want to go with? Because I could go with, of course, Construction Worker for plus 3 short blunt, and then, like, a lot of strength. I could go with... Uh, doctor to get a lot of first aid and short blade in case I get wounded, you know. I'd go with veteran for more aiming. I'd go with police officer as well. Uh, fire officer, park ranger, or lumberjack for more axing. Um, apartment rally group size 100 is murder horde. Seriously. Seriously. Um, fitness instructor uh, gets a ton of running. Um... Burger Flipper is Short Blade. 
Engineer gets traps and explosives, which I've never been able to pull off, but it sounds fun. Uh, metal Worker gets Metal Working, which with more Metal Working, I could get into the Scrap mods faster. Um, I would just absolutely need to get lucky and find a Welding Mask and Propane Torch to make that working. But I'd be able to actually get to the Scrap Weapons, so I could have Scrap Guns, uh, Scrap Machetes, Scrap Katanas, Scrap spears uh mechanic gets plus one short blunt so what are we thinking what are we thinking uh let's go with slow reader weak stomach i found out prone to illness is actually not bad it's actually pretty good actually uh same thing with thin skinned you think it would it would be horrible but you know what I, I i i just i don't know it's 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 a real big toss-up but it allows you to skip overweight and as long as you never get hit, which you never want to get hit anyway, it's actually pretty good. And I got plus 13 points here. Well, that's the veteran on. Or a hell, I could go unemployed and have no skills whatsoever. Um, but that just sounds boring. So uh, what are we thinking? What are we thinking, chat? What do we want to do? Uh, I want to go a more combat-focused route. Instead of because stealth against these kinds of mobs doesn't really work to be honest, unless I really upped my stealth. But like, I, I've got to have I've got to have something. Like I could do spears, which are kind of the best weapon if I had a ton of maintenance or got really lucky and then learned metalworking really quickly. Which I want to go for fast learner, no matter what we do. Mechanics for short blunt. Um, I mean, that's nice because then you get the, the, the mechanic for cars, but if I was going to go for short blunt, I'd go for carbon, I'd go for construction worker for the plus three short blunt. Plus it costs less. Because that starts you out with plus three short blunt, and then with like, I'd go strong. I'm playing engineer for the roleplay value, it's tempting. I can go strong, and that would start me out redunk like able to take out zombies and carry just a hell of a lot that's actually pretty nice um actually let's go stout instead so i have more points because i kind of want to try and get athletic no fit yes and that leaves me with one point but there's no way in hell i'm getting speed demon I was like in the car thing, but that's probably not too important in the beginning. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I can spend, if I get a good setup base, I can spend some time grinding that up, you know? Off, off stream. So we think that looks good. Construction worker. So I also start with plus one carpentry, which is nice. Uh, stout, fit, fast learner, slow reader, weak stomach, smoker, prone to illness, thin skinned. Oh, I didn't get hemophobic. I have six points. I'm like, why do I have one point left over? Um, that means I could get Brawler, Archer for the plus one and plus two reloading, Cook, which is pointless, Eagle Eyed, uh, Fast Healer. Did I not get Slow Healer? Oh my god, I have a ton of points left over. Hold on. That could give me Handy for plus one Carpentry, plus one Maintenance. Um... I could go Keen Hearing, which I got told in the comments on uh, my two, on my trait video. Apparently, Keen Hearing, uh, hearing traits makes it so that your uh, perception and worry of, of behind you stays better for longer. You know, I think I'm going to go with that. Keen Hearing. And... Hiker for Foraging and Trapping. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, who are we going to be? Hmm. Apparently, I'm going to have a denim shirt no matter what I do. Let's go with this guy. Joffrey Beach. No denim shirts. Oh, my God. Why do you have the ugliest damn wet wear? Like, this is weird. There we go. That looks better. Baggy jeans. Socks. 
just regular socks. Canvas shoes. I can't get boots. I wish I could start with boots. I would forego everything for boots. Um, give him bright red hair. He looks like the guy from Game of Thrones. All right, Jeffrey Beach. He's a construction worker who's used to being out in the woods, but he's not too healthy. Dun 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 dun. I need some variety in the, in the, from the danger cellos in the beginning, but I think, like, you're not supposed to restart this often. But, I mean, this is how you died. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where the hell am I? This... Actually, this looks familiar. Am I in Rosewood? Oh my god, you gotta be crapping me. Oh. Oh my god. Um, I'm in Riverside. I know, I'm excited too. Let's see if, uh. Oh my god, lady. Come on, I just. I need a bag of some kind to start grabbing everything possible tent peg wood glue piece of tape all right so uh, i haven't been able to find my location in the pz map at riverside where even is it on that map i i don't i don't know where your location is um i i'm sorry oh, welding mask i am sorry that i cannot help you Oh, you don't know where Riverside is. Uh, no, that's that's bad condition. Okay. Uh, pipe wrench. Conditions seem fine on these. <gasps> yes! Propane torch and welding mask. Okay, so Riverside um, in Project Zomboid. Go to select POI. See Dixie here. So we go down. There's Moldraw, Riverside, and you just... Here we are, Riverside. Currently, I am right here. Yeah. I want to get way the hell around the corner over here to West Point. That's going to take a while. Riverside is a great place to start. Like, I'm tempted to just honestly stay here. Maybe stay here for the first week. That actually doesn't sound too, like half out of an idea. Not try and run all the way to where I want my, to, to my end goal, you know? Come on. Nothing. The hardware store in Riverside spoils. It really does. Yeah, we don't need you anymore. Fuck my propane torch. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I almost lost my propane torch. That was so dumb. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad. Oh, loot everything you can and then go for it. Yeah, that's basically my plan. It's like I'll stay here for the first week. Hopefully not die. Oh, we have a car. I'll stay here for the first week. Loot up as much as I can. Try and find a decent vehicle if I can. Hit the sporting goods store. Oh, the sporting goods store! What is it called? There's also a bookstore. I forget what the sporting goods store was called. Uh, Mama, uh, maybe a helmet. Yeah, I just don't remember what the hell it was called. We're already uh, getting a little bit of attention here. Here's the other way.
Right, it was this place, wasn't it? Well, time to get to work. Okay, maybe not. Oh, Jesus. Well, there's a backpack right there, but... Ha... Uh... Okay, I can do this. Already taken enormous risks here, but... Oh man, that, that, that is, that is scary. First day getting into a huge fight. Duh. Oh, hello, nineteen eleven. Up past the hotel and post office. Yeah, yeah, you always describe like where this thing is, and I can never find it. I found it the one time, and it was amazing, though. So I'm gonna be looking. Huh. That weird flipping again. All right, I saw. Here we are. There we go. Oh, I gotta make it to a television. We'll do this later. We'll do this later. I gotta get. I gotta get to a television. What's up, bad English? Yeah, I usually take weekends off. Excuse me. What the hell are the driveways for these houses? That's uh, a little suburb, I see. Why do you need a TV? Uh, the beginning week... The beginning week television shows. Here we go. Okay. Wow, you don't know about the beginning week television shows. Okay. So the beginning week television shows are one of the best things in the game. In the first seven days of the game, if you turn it to life and living television, at 6 o'clock, noon, and 1800, there are educational television shows that give you free experience. Come on. Nope, let her, let her in. So watch, in about 10 minutes, one will turn on. Yep, here we are. Y'all are watching Woodcraft, your one-stop shop for home improvements. Fans trapping. Oomph. Oomph. There we go. Carpentry plus 65 experience. Let's uh, keep an eye. We already got carpentry level 2. <laughs> you just watch this go up here. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. Do you have to stand around the TV? Yeah, as long as the, uh, the text on it is colored, you're learning. I'm going to get to carpentry 3 in a second. Nope, oh, nope, show's over. What about boredom and unhappiness? It helps with those two, actually. Um, it, the the shows stop after a week.
But like, as long as there's color on any of these things that you're seeing, you're listening to it and uh, can actually be getting, uh, enter like right now I'm getting entertainment from this radio. Yeah, I mention it occasionally, um, but yeah, it's uh, yet another one of those little things they never tell you about. Uh, it is also the uh, uh, sped up, the skill is sped up by books. So if I found a uh, carpentry for intermediates right now, it'd be fast, it'd be faster experience. Uh, the, the experience that I'm getting currently would be tripled, believe it or not. So for the first week in game, you absolutely want to stick around a television or make sure that you're carrying one with you that you can hook up to electricity somewhere. I watch there be a goddamn alarm. Ooh, cooking pot. I'll take an A bowl and your bread knives. Yeah, don't 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 kick yourself for not knowing about it. It's another one of those things they just never ever tell you about. Of which the list is very very long. Like sewing or being able to check the quality of your clothing or how antidepressants work because just taking one thing of antidepressants doesn't do anything. Like, there's a lot, you know? Or like I found out, happiness is really goddamn important. Oh, first day for beginners. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect. Like, I was really curious as to what happiness does, so I looked it up. Oh, yeah. That makes complete sense. Stylin'. And uh, happiness affects the speed at which you do any skill. And how well you sleep. Like, I never had a clue. But yeah, uh, that's why I say if you're gonna be trying to pay attention to the beginning, uh, for the first week, uh, television shows, get the mod that allows for videotapes. Let's 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 show that off really quick here. So that you don't feel like giving up whenever you miss the first week. Um, there is, where is it, where is it? Yes. Taped TV shows. Get this. And that's videotapes of your favorite TV show broadcasts. It'll allow you to still get the experience gain after the broadcast stops. So like if you have a character that dies, you can start in the same world. Get all your loot back, get, you, get back to your base, and you will not feel like you have lost out. Now, it's a little bit exploitable. I, I will mention that. You kind of just got to make a deal with yourself to not exploit it. Because the game doesn't care how many times you watch the TV show, so it'll give you the same experience every time. Uh, but, I mean, where's the fun in that, you know? Oh, man. You and your cool t-shirt. I will take your bottle, too. I tried to rewatch that. Sometimes you get nothing for it anyway. I don't, I don't exactly know. Oh, hi. Oh, God, it's so nice to start with combat skill. 
Holy shit, it's so nice to start with combat skill. Oh god, I'm amazing! It does, however, mean in the first week you really gotta pay attention. Which, I mean... If you're not paying attention, you're dead. So... You should be anyway? I am doing fantastic on loot in this first week. This is great. No, oh, not the pot, damn it. I'll carry it with me. Nah, I don't care. Why, why, why would I carry this with me? Morning, Teddy Trey. You feeling better? Uh, take this white light bulb with me. The only useful thing in the... Uh, the only useful light bulb is the white ones. You can't really use the other ones. I'm not sure why they exist. It says that this has a lot of books in it, but it's like one. Apparently, Master Carpentry has several volumes. Aha, there we go. I actually have something to carry an axe now. I can repair axes! Ah. Oh man, finding a propane torch. And a welding mask first day. Whoa! No. Bad. I mean, I guess I was breaking into her house. Uh, belt, jacket, nothing else. Kill the Zed first. Okay, we got a first aid kit. Ooh, lots of good stuff in there too. In fact, I don't even take the, I don't even need to take the tweezers now. I'll just take that first aid kit. I only need one pair of tweezers ever. Unless you, you know, lose it. Pepper vinegar. I'm getting a great amount of stuff here. Like, if I didn't know any better, I would say that I'm not on rare loot anymore, but I'm still on rare loot. Uh, house key, screwdriver, beautiful. Uh, more boots. Does it show up who is hosting you? Not if it's an auto host. Uh, regular hosting, yes. If you go to your chat and use the slash host omni rustic command, but regular chat, uh, regular hosting like auto host, no. You should always set your friends to auto-host, though. It's just polite. Okay. Oh, I forgot to set this thing up. So you can see how many zombies... I've killed 31 in the first day. Oh, God, it's so nice to be a combat-focused carrier character for a change. That's only going to be good, so good for so long, but, you know, I like it. I close you... Well, thank you very much for the host, Teddy Trey. It is greatly appreciated. All right, ice cream. Um, I got a fresh pork chop I can use later. Let's just start dropping food-ish stuff in here for now. The hell was that noise? That was a weird noise. It's like a feedback or something. Probably because I'm, you know, standing right next to the uh, radio. Um, so apparently um, this game starts and happens before sliced bread. 
So you need to slice the bread normally. Uh, let's butcher the small animal. Thank you, Grogoyle, for the 100 bits. I am very appreciative of you and everything that you do right now. Why can't I chop up the pineapple? Okay, bowl, beer, jar, pot. Yeah, it's because I'm sitting next to the radio, that's why. Okay, now that I know. Let's freeze the rodent meat. I got a lot of food first day. Worth it for just showing me where Riverside is. Wow, just Riverside. Wow, it, not not even the... What do I get for the, the, the television shows? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. All right, let's go ahead and wash a bunch of clothing now. I've kind of gotten into the habit of just, like, keeping clothing that I like. There's no real need for it. It just makes me happy. Which, I mean, isn't that, like, the whole point of the game? Alright, so once it hits 1800, we're going to get another show, and I need to make sure I'm watching for that. Hmm. I couldn't have time to go drop stuff off in the car. It's nighttime, so I'm trying not to attract a lot of attention, but I killed most of the Zeds in the area. So I might as well go drop stuff off. Let's keep the bread knife on me. Uh, I gotta read that. Keep those on me. Gotta read that. Keep that on me. All of the rest of this can go in. Uh, I gotta read that. Oop. Hi there. I'm 10 minutes till, so I don't want to miss any experience. What's up, guys? Oh, just in time. Oh, nope, there was a commercial first. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I got a little bit of soap. Let's go and clean up. I don't know if I can be in the bathroom and still hear it. There's a there's a radius depending on the... Uh... I can still hear it good. There's a radius depending on the volume of what you can hear. Exposure survival today. Okay, what do we got? I'm Dean and, going, and I'm going back to nature. It's a show that'll teach you the basics of outdoor life. Before we get to survival, I'm not using the wrong voice here. Let's nail the basics. Let's fish. I got fishing skill today. <laughs> now I'm sure you've got your rod, but then bait. What bait should you get? No, this is the wrong voice too. Well, worms are common, right? So dig and get a bunch. Or there's lures, or maybe smaller fish, eh? Ah, oh, he's Canadian. Find a river, cast a line, and wait a while. Sounds like Clint Eastwood. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, do, I'm not doing the, the right voice right now. That was a short show today. Now, there's also a show that plays at 2400, um, exactly at midnight, but it doesn't teach anything. And that's... I wish it did. It doesn't. Still funny and entertaining. I'm trying to increase my repertoire of, uh, of voices. And I'm bad at it. And this, I'm actually going to put the first aid kit into the glove box. So I know exactly where it is at all times. Uh, we have alcohol wipes, no disinfectant, but we do have a suture kit in there. Okay. I've only ever gotten a deep wound once ever. And uh, no way in hell I'm going to sleep in a house of corpses. That's a Rob Zombie movie, and Rob Zombie makes terrible movies. Excuse me. Okay, fine. Did you bring me anything? Nope. Nope. 
There's a lot of Zeds in the area, and that makes me really nervous for sleeping here. Hmm. I'm gonna try something instead. I just accidentally turned music off by hitting M. My music randomly stopped. I'm gonna press this as hard as I can up against this wall. Damn it. Damn it, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Why am I getting stuck in this damn hedge? Yeah, I could still get out there. I guess I, I can't get this in a good spot. I guess I'm just going to have to risk it. <sighs> oh well. I can, I'm at least going to make sure to close all these windows. Uh, all the curtains. So we're not showing a bunch of stuff outside. Turn off. And just in case... Oh, I did get the whole couch. Beautiful. All right, let's put... No, that's not going to help. They'll just climb right over that once they break the window. Uh, this will slow them down a bit if I put it outside. Thought I saw something. Let's go wash up. Because I did carry some bodies around. Let's see what we have to eat. Um, I mean, I didn't get overweight, did I? No, I'm normal weight. I just got to keep my weight up. Okay. I'm sure eating candy is totally the way to do it. I can make a sandwich with that pork chop. It's just gonna be dry. What? How did you get in? How did... I didn't hear any glass breaking. Oh my god, it's a whole horde. This must have just been wandering by and heard me. But I didn't hear the glass break. Did anybody else hear the glass break? Oh my god, there's so many. Well, I needed some exercise before bed. I would be really disappointed if this house was no longer safe. I did a lot of work to get this house safe. Oh, there was a lot there. Are we clear? Okay. Jeez. I was like all excited to make a sandwich and then these assholes had to come in. <gasps> Ooh. I'm going to overheat a little bit, but as long as I'm near water, it should be fine. All right, there's uh, not enough furniture to do anything for that. So I just got to, you know, keep hope. Oh, well, maybe. I 
Just trying to find something to slow them down a little bit, you know? Because I'm probably moving houses tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should find just find a place to hole up for the week until we're all finished. But right now I've got to sleep. All right, so uh, first off, you're coming with me. Crap. Yeah, I heard you. Come on. Okay, apparently the table doesn't stop them at all. Come on. You can you gonna get up? Oh, he didn't know where I was. God. Oh my god, get out of my house! I might not be able to sleep here tonight. That'd be really... You know, I should be fine to sleep here tonight. I should be fine to sleep here tonight. But only tonight. Well, I'm gonna have to... Seriously? I heard some banging somewhere. Yeah, I'm hearing banging. <sighs> okay, the couch also doesn't help them, and that guy would have come in on me in my sleep. Shit. Okay, I would really like to sleep tonight, if you all don't mind. Oh, actually, I just had a thought. I can make a small barricade for myself here. As well as block off that door. Okay. Now, first off, set the watch. Set the watch alarm to 5.50 so I have enough time to get out there to the television in the morning. I guess I could have just brought the television in here. I, I actually slept the whole night, and nothing much happened. Nobody broke in! It's all coming up Omni. I got an hour. Um, I'm a little bit hungry. I guess I could eat some of this sandwich. Can I put anything else in this sandwich? I can have more pork chop. Let's put the entire pork chop in here, I guess. It, it, it makes you happier the more stuff you put into it, so... At least I'm chopping up the pork chop. It could be much, much worse. Alright. 30, but unhappiness is plus 15. Uh, because I have no mayonnaise, it's gonna be super dry. Yeah. Whatever. Nom 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 nom. Pork chop sandwich. Also, I'm turning this thing off. Because this radio could be luring zombies to us every time it goes off, since the volume was super loud. God, this place is just a mess. Fucking zombies, man. This should be close enough that I can escape anything. And now we'll start reading. I killed 49 zombies so far, and that's one day. Oh, make sure to turn off the watch. Ah, it's a cooking show today.
Okay. And it's off to the races. <sighs> Killed all these zombies today. Most of them were outside my damn front door. Alright, so I still have to search around town to find a decent vehicle. And I want books. I've got I've got five hours until the next show. Do I want to just move locations? Fuck yeah, I do. Like, this place is not safe. Alright, taking the television with me. Um, that's all food. Let's leave that in there. Put the television in there. Or not. What I have now is the bare minimum. And with how big the zombie hordes here are... Yeah, there's already one there. Um, I, I want to do a lot more work. Before I'm ready to go to Lakeside, or the... Yeah, we'll just call it the Lakeside Houses. So, I want to find a vehicle. Hoo-hoo! Ah, uh, there it is. Time for sport. Ooh, military boots. Hopefully you get a helmet. I mean, it would be nice. But I'm pretty satisfied with the welding mask and the cowboy hat that I've got right now. Maybe some fanny packs? I would love some fanny packs. This is not time for sport. <laughs> Hi. I'm here to raid your store. This is a stick-up. Well, it would be if I had guns. Man, I'll get a lot of these desert boots. Uh, sport t-shirt. That is not the kind of sport that I had in mind. God damn, rare loot is like so bad. Uh, is th this is better, yes. I'm hearing something banging on a wall. Sport short. I like sport shorts. Hi. You... Buddy? Thank you. All he had on him was a house key in his undo undies. Sure. And a mob coming in the back. Luckily, I am Jeffrey Beach, master of the hammer, disciple of Thor. Let's not go out that door. Where'd it go? The jacket. There we go. Holy crap, what's your loot setting? Uh, extremely rare. You were there when I said it. There we go. Thank you. No fanny pack. Nothing. Worth it, though. Totally worth it. 
It is currently 850. We're going to drop the school bag. Don't really need it anymore, but I will take it with me. Eat the rest of this pork chop sandwich. A failure overall of culinary of the culinary arts. Let's make up for that. Oh, I've never been here when this place isn't rotten to the core. Unknown berries. Delicious. A peanut butter a peanut butter sandwich. You've never been here when this place actually has stuff to that that is worth it. Uncooked chicken. Ham. Oh, all the proteins. We are not starving on the way to the lakeside houses. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna need a much better uh <laughs> much better vehicle. Like, I'm looting this place, but it, it, it might honestly not be worth it to take all of this crap. Um, like, right now, I'm thinking of just, like, going to the restaurant. Oh, new car. Uh, I'm thinking of going to the restaurant and just keeping the restaurant for the first week. But then at the same time, it's got so much stuff in it, so much food, it's probably not actually worth it. Any good bags? A uh, hiking bag and a duffel bag. Yeah, I've got to get a place to hole up. At least for the first week. And eat all of these perishables. So some place with a second story that's defensible and has refrigerators. That's the Gigamart. Hey, nice amount of vehicles around here too. Nice amount of zombies though, so you know, might not be, might not be it. Oh God. Okay, maybe not. There's way too many. Uh, but I'm in good shape. I can fight this. It's gonna be a while of fighting. Okay, maybe not. And now with a little bit of liberal tactical shoving, we should be able to get through this. I'm a little bit worried about my hammer here, but there was other hammers. Whoa, oh, no, no. Woo. Oh. Oh. Scary. Ha ah. ha Oh, that was, that was honestly, honestly terrifying. <sighs> I'll take two holsters with me. Oh man, there's more!
Maybe not a place in town. That is a perfect condition jacket. <sighs> I'm doing Zoom church and watching Zombie Slay at the same time because multitasking. Whatever makes you happy. So all perishables I want to keep with me. That is an absolute rule I'm sticking to. It is 11.30. I need to bring the television with me. Because this needs to go be set down someplace with electricity. Luckily, place with electricity is a pretty wide range. No, you're going to make noise and attract attention, lady. Like, place with electricity is any building wall. Boom, place with electricity, done. <laughs> Ugh. This place is terrifying. This, this whole ordeal was not happy making. I really want to speed time up. You know, I should be able to at least do it too. Y'all are watching Woodcraft. Carpentry 3. Carp. Nah, oh, wow. Yeah, just you gained tons of experience. Starting as a construction worker. Um, I think I started as a construction worker. means that uh, yeah i started as a construction worker and uh that means i gain faster experience oh ho, 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 you almost got the drop on me you pay about as much attention as i do and we're gonna clear out up here take one of these places for my own stay here for a week um actually i don't think they, they have bathrooms up here Hey, they do. Okay, good. We're going to hole up in a bathroom. And I did check. The sound is blocked by walls. So the more inside of a place you are, the better your options are for avoiding zombies hearing you. Okay, uh, now I need a refrigerator. Uh, let's go ahead, drop my perishable... Hello. No, Anakin! I have the high ground! Yeah, there, that we've got company. Look, I'm gonna do something about it. Dude. Okay, have your fun. Have your fun then. Too heavy for inventory. Yep, I thought so. Okay, so all of my perishables I'm going to be putting into this duffel bag here, really quick, so I can drop it. Oh, hi. You made it through, I see. Why am I not hearing things? Ah, oh, crap. Well, that's gonna be fun. 
Uh, that means that one of the uh, many, many watches that I've got. I heard that. Has an alarm on it. It's this one. Hi. Set alarm there. Hello, safety goggles. Uh, beanie hat. Oh, I was hoping it was a riding helmet. All right, now I've got to think of a way to block block this off. Cause God, geez. it's a non-stop parade. And I'm not going to be able to sleep with this going on. There's no tables down here. I guess I could just take refrigerators. I think that's like my only real option here. It does mean, though, that either I move these or I just don't loot uh, for the rest of this entire week. So basically, daily, I'm going to have to move a fridge. Although I get a feeling the zombies are going to do it for me. Uh, a garden, there we go. I don't have anything to cook anything up here. Huh. I didn't think of that. I'll figure it out. Ooh, gas can. Beautiful. All right, I've got a television. I don't have anything to sleep on except for these chairs, which are not the best. I've got a ton of bodies. Just, oh my god, a lot of bodies. Uh, so I want to go look for a microwave. And then I guess a comfier chair of some kind would be nice. And I am going to start sneaking as well. Ah, oh, tomato seeds. It'll it'll reduce the noise that I make enough that I might be able to survive a bit longer. Uh, in fact, I'm going to take this table as well. I really want to know how they did the noise in this game. Because it seems to travel so realistically. It's kind of crazy. I do not see a microwave. Just a fuck ton of food. Oh my goodness. Uh, strainer, which I do want to keep with me. With powdered milk, you can actually make cheese. Jar lid, which I find a lot of those, but no jars. Well, I guess I have one jar. Somebody's been loading cookies into sinks. You know, I'm not going to question it. Just going to just gonna accept it. A lot of this stuff I'm going to grab later. I will... T oh, too heavy for inventory. Okay, I was going to take that and like put them against the doors, but... No dice. No microwave, no nothing. 
Time to go upstairs for the night. Where did you come from? You're not on shift, lady. Strength is reduced. Being sleepy. Okay, good. <laughs> That's also one thing is I need to make sure whenever I go anywhere, uh, I need to come back with enough strength left to move that fridge. Now can I set you where I want you? No, god damn it. Some stairs are protected, some aren't. Is there more comfortable chairs in these offices? It's the break room, which doesn't have a microwave. Uh, it's an office chair, which is slightly more comfortable, I think. Nope. Okay, looks like office chair it is then. No, I'm not I'm not saying I haven't slept in an office chair before. I totally have. Okay. Uh, oh no, I almost forgot. I'm gonna try and slow them down as much as I can. I don't expect it to work. Basically, if like I come up and there's zombies here in the morning and I can't kill enough and there's too many to kill, um, I gotta jump the fence here and just chuck it and hope I don't break my own damn leg. Okay, home sweet home. <laughs> home sweet bathroom. Chuck it. I get to leg it. Farming. Interesting. I'm going to read as much of this first aid for basics as I can. When I need this first aid for basics, I'll really, really need it. Uh, first aid, I, I looked it up. I did the research. First aid does, uh, does help with the speed uh, at which you uh, heal from wounds. Uh, that's long enough. Uh, I need to make sure that I don't re I don't stay up too late. Otherwise, I won't get enough sleep next morning because uh, I have an alarm to wake me up. Oh, I forgot to smoke a cigarette. Damn it. Well, I guess I'm awake for a little while now. At least an hour. I hate when that happens. It's not like I'm getting the best of sleep in this office chair. All right, sit, continue reading. Looks like cooking today, yep. Short show. Okay, let's go outside and see the damage. It could be good, it could be really, really bad. Also, I should probably get my propane torch and start work on uh, disassembling and working on my, me my metal working skill. Um, outside looks just fine. Hmm. Well, let's hope it stays that way. Just checking. Getting a better look outside. Also, uh, each and every time I do this, it's a little bit of exertion. 
which will make it harder to sleep tonight. And uh, harder to have energy for the whole day. Now, I've got, I've got enough food. I do not need to be going through these shelves. I've apparently killed 86 zombies. I am a monster. Uh, but what I do need to do... I need to look for a different vehicle. Get a trailer. None of the police officers there had the key. There it is. Okay, we do have a key. And a lot of gas. We have a police cruiser. It's not the... Actually, this is actually a pretty poor vehicle to take a bunch of stuff and travel with. I'd rather have one of these. Oh... That's not too many. I've done worse. God damn. If I could aim this morning. Yep, it broke. That's fine. I have a claw hammer. Your version of too many is wrong. That's true. But if you remember, we made the zombies weaker on purpose so that we would take out hordes by hand instead of being stuck with uh, only fire as our only weapon against large numbers. And I did make a combat-oriented character, which changes... Uh, what I consider to be too many. I'll oh, take the screwdriver, damn it. We just dropped that on the ground. What the hell happened to it? It's still in there. I was hoping for a car key. Doesn't look like it, though. Painkillers. I don't think they helped with your condition, buddy. Sorry to say. Anything in this duffel bag? Yes. A grilled cheese sandwich. Why does a grilled cheese sandwich make me unhappy? It's a grilled cheese sandwich. Maybe it's cold. That would make sense. There's a key. We have a dashboard driver. Drop it. This is all junk. It doesn't need to exist. It even has a large amount of uh, gasoline in it. Come on. Come on. Come on, you know you want to come with me. There we go. So the big difference here is this has a lot more carrying capacity, less speed, but it's okay. So I'm going to hook this up to this trailer here. Hopefully this trailer is in good condition. Well, hopefully the dash bull driver is in good condition. I mean, it, it looks like it's not in terrible condition, which is good enough for me, because it will be in terrible condition once we get uh, to our destination. Let's hook you up. Beautiful. Um, hey, where's my HUD? There we go. 134. 70. Could be better, but could be worse. 
Oh, I never really looted this thing. <laughs> There's another hiking bag. What about the back of the car? I've gone into the back of police cars before and had corpses, so... And, lucky, lucky us, uh, we have our hands on a gas can. Where did I put that? It's somewhere. If I hadn't stopped because of that scream, I would have been eaten. Uh, that, that scream alerted every zombie in the area, so they all raised their heads and looked for the nearest living thing, basically. And that happens to be me! So, we're gonna have a little bit of a fight here. Just gotta hope they keep coming in slow. So I can almost guarantee that the uh yeah, somebody trying to break out of the grocery store at the wrong door right now. I can almost guarantee the gas station is gonna be overrun. Oh my god, there's a lot. Gonna be overrun. So having that gas can means either I can run into the gas station. Oh my god. And just do a quick refill and get out. Or I can so oh, no, no, or die, or die, or die, or die. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, that meta event killed me. God, this was a really good character, too. Fuck! 111 zombies in two days. Ah. Uh. What I needed was a long-range weapon. I was sticking with short, and it was, like, if there's that many, I want long-range. Ugh, F. Damn. Damn, that really upsets me. <laughs> Maybe I should have just hid from them for a while. They do have short memory and they're only active at night or only active during the day. Oh well. Oh well. So stout for the extra strength. Fit is great. I really liked that build. I really did, but I don't want to go construction worker again. Um or or, I go with something and go for Brawler, which is plus one X, plus one Long Blunt. That's plus, that's, that's a six. Mm, I don't know. I could always go with, like, Fitness Instructor and get plus three Fitness to start. And plus two Sprinting. And just run friggin' everywhere. Um... God, I, oh, I started with a propane tank and a welding mask, too. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? I think I'm actually going to go metal worker this time. Yeah, I think I am. Because uh, if I could start with a lot of metal working... That's, um, that means I can start with scrap... The, the scrap skills right away, and I can really play with the scrap uh, mods that I have. What's up, Dracatan?
Okay, and slow healer. There's 14 points I can play with. Let's go for fast learner. Fit, stout. Handy? I don't know, that's a negative eight. Whereas I could go for like lucky and I don't know. Let's go with like lucky and wakeful dexterous. Just filling this whole screen here. So thin skinned, a slow healer, hemophobic, prone to illness. I am frail. Smoker, weak. It's probably because I'm smoking. Uh, weak stomach, slow reader. Except for slow reader, this is pretty much me. <laughs> And hemophobic. I do not give a crap about blood. Uh, I should really make myself in game one of these days. Dexterous, wakeful, lucky, fast learner, fit stout. Josh Martz, nah. Go with the lady this time. Nina Scroggins. <laughs> Nina Scroggins. How, what is even that last name? Yeah, this is pretty set up already. I think of this scenario, you need lucky, especially since you got loot at extremely rare. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good point. Nina Scroggins. Oh, but give her anime eyes. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> that's disgusting. I hate it. <laughs> All right, Nina Scroggins. Let's see where we go. I can't do a Scottish accent. It always mixes up with Irish. I can't help myself. This is how Nina Scroggins died. Come on, load it up. Load her up. Oh, come, don't do this. There we go, okay. Uh, she starts in... A filing cabinet. No, uh, primary. How do I actually take the pop out of these? Start in a second floor, that's good. Uh, we've got water. Uh, metal working for beginners I can't even use. Trapping for beginners, though, I will be able to. Yeah, we got water. I just realized there's no basements in this game. Huh. We got a fridge. If I can get a TV, this might not be a bad place to hole up for a week. I don't know where I am, though. Anybody recognize this? I don't. Oh, shit. I'm in Riverside again. I think. I think. No, I don't recognize this. Oh, that's going to activate a lot of zombies. I need to. Oh, no. I need to hide somewhere else. I don't have any weaponry or nothing. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to miss a, a show. <sighs> Unless I somehow get lucky and there's a television in the break room. I have zero weaponry. I have a microwave, though. I'll steal you. No, not the fridge. I, I don't know. I don't recognize where I am. But, like, I can get set up up here if I find a television. You know, and any weaponry. Uh, 
Uh, pipe wrench. Good. We have a weapon. A hunting knife. Uh, mechanics for beginners. Box of screws. Uh, screwdrivers. That, is this a hardware store that I found? I think I found a hardware store. Which uh, could, could be extraordinarily lucky. Oh, yeah, I heard you. It's weird that it doesn't like... Thank you for the hand axe. Yeah, I heard someone break in over here. Or at least break down a door. Hello? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, there's a duffel bag. God, Lucky is already, already working out for me. Oh, or not. Okay, so far so good. There's like an entire horde upstairs. And I'm worried there's something behind me. Water bottle, good. Some food. You had a yeah, you have a watch. Uh, no, I'm still before noon. That's good. Club hammer, but I don't need it. Uh, an axe. Perfect quality axe too. God. Duct tape. So, yeah. Started next to a hardware store. If I get really lucky... Nope. There's a machete. Oh, I'm using this. Metal sheet, file. I'm, I'm grabbing a lot of stuff and weighing myself down a lot right now. Uh, but I'm going to be trying to make things as fast as I can. Damn it. I was really hoping for a welding mask and a propane torch, but no go. Uh, pickaxe, more metal sheet, metal pipe. Duct tape. Mining helmet I will take. Nothing. Nice. This is an apartment upstairs? It is! <laughs> this is a nice apartment. Holy crap. Maybe I should move up here? I was going to go to the office... But, like, this is so much better. Alright, let's drop all of this crap on the ground. Except for the store stuff that I'm equipped with, you know? Um, I'm gonna have to do something for the front door, though. Uh, do I have any carpentry skill? I don't have a hammer or nails. Wouldn't avail me nothing. This is, this is great. I mean, except for all the zombies. And the fact that it has no door.
Nice. We have a handbag. <laughs> and I found the homeowner. God damn. Would you not? I'm gonna have to get a fridge somewhere to block this door. And then I need a hammer and nails. But I can hole up here easily. For now, I'll put a table in front of this door. Since it sounds like more are coming in. Jesus. Well, I've got an axe, which I can which is a, a long range weapon. Oh man, this is kind of nerve-wracking if I'm honest. Lucky start. Wait, no. Wrong survivor. You seem screwed. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Oh, this is almost set perfectly already. Wow. All right, so I got a few hours until I have to worry again. Let's go back down, see if we find a hammer and nails. I wasn't exactly looking for them. Oh, there's another apartment up here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where's Where's my machete? Naked lady in the bathroom. Man. Can you imagine turning while in the bath? Just turn you off. Uh, but this means that I might be able to just block off the downstairs and just have this whole entire upstairs to myself. Oh. Oh, ice cream. Uh, let's... I'm not going to use this bedroom, so we're just going to take these curtains. At this point, we always expect a zomboy, zom girl in every bathroom. Yeah, I've gotten to the habit of, like, uh, always... If, if I'm going to open the door, I always have, a, have my weapon ready. Like, it's just a good habit to be in. Maybe I should be in the other place, actually. This one has a... No, this one doesn't have a door, either. <laughs> okay, um... I like this place better. No, I don't. I like this one better. It's bigger. Let's go steal all the curtains from the other one, then. Maybe I should, like, block this place off from downstairs first. Before I start, like, decorating, huh? Damn, he went all the way from down here. Ah, oh, blades. Oh, cigarettes, thank you. <laughs> that's almost 
books. It's all books. Oh, oh, it's all books. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Random question: How long has it been since you actually had a pop tart? One like you know the '90s era. Um, I mean, uh, um, uh, sorry. Uh, Fantastic Muse's daughter is obsessed with pop tarts, so like often actually. God, it's it's all it's all books. Okay, um, I'm, I'm drooling a little here. I need, uh, trapping, shit, Omni, defenses, then looting, defenses, then looting, defenses, then looting, come on, calm down. Whew. Oh, wait, what am I doing? There's a freaking grocery store right here. Uh, yeah, there's two fridges. That's what I needed. Fridge. Too heavy for inventory. Of course it is. I still don't have a nail and hammer, though. I need those. Oh... Then again, really one fridge will do it, so maybe I don't need to go crazy. Er, than I already am. Yeah, this one fridge will do it. So we can at least block our place off. We've even got food up here. God, this place is amazing. Uh, but still, I need hammer and nails. If I don't get hammer and nails, it's not going to do me any good. Screws. Uh, club hammer, which is not able to be used as a hammer, believe it or not. Uh, duct tape, mechanics for beginners, box of large bolts, fishing tackle. Oh, wait, the saw. If I get a hammer, I can disassemble things. No go, huh? Oh, also, I never got this duffel bag. I probably actually want that thing. Instead of just carrying stuff in my in my damn pockets. And I never grabbed this hand axe. You can't use a hand axe as a hammer. Damn, I wish you could. The club hammer, which you cannot use as a hammer. Pickaxe. All these things. Like, a hammer is just a blunt object. But you can't use a hammer as a hammer. <laughs> Unless it's a hammer? I don't understand this game sometimes. What's up, buddy? You have something in you. It's not a hammer, though. Uh, it is a screwdriver I will take. Whoa, there's a lot there. That was a unexpected. Come to me. Loyal machete. Excuse me. Nope. God, machete is good. <laughs> Whoa. That's a little more than I wanted. Uh, this looks like one of those things where there was like half a dozen zombies in a bathroom again. Which happens a lot. Yup. Oh, they were all upstairs. Okay. Okay. Uh, this might be ill-advised. You guys seem very concerned with this bathroom. 
But uh, I've got uh, strength and I've got my machete. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy. Oh. Oh. No 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 no! Oh shit! Well, I'm dead. I got cocky. Fuck! Didn't even last one day. Shit. Eight hours. I got really cocky because of everything I I had there. That was <sighs> f in chat. God, I feel like I didn't even get to try her out. Damn. Yeah, let's let's stick with the metalworking. Um, slow reader, weak stomach. I'm not gonna get prone to illness. I'm gonna go a little bit easier this time. I'm not gonna min max the whole thing. Like I'm not gonna go thin skin, slow healer. Um, I will go. Fast learner because I love it. 42 kills. If every survivor does that KD ratio, we could actually defeat a zombie outbreak. Uh, there are thousands of them. Yeah, slow healer's fine. So we could go with stout. I'm liking the strength a lot. This is not bad. If I get two of anything. God, now it's hard not to min-max. Now that I know like how the min-maxing really works. Shit. Yeah, fuck it. Good evening, Andrew Dan. Lucky was getting me a lot of stuff there. Like, a whole lot. Uh, I got four points left, or I could get rid of prone to illness. I get wakeful and dexterous again. Yeah. Same build as before. I just kind of do this until I see somebody that I like. Wilbur Tan. No, I don't like how I don't like how he looks. There we go. Julius Bowers. Gone to find his daughter that was lost in town. <laughs> Somewhere in Knox County. He is off to look for his daughter. Julius Bowers. That's dep that was depressing. I I got really cocky because of the machete, and then one came up behind me, and I was fucked. I should have just booked it. I really should have just booked it. So how many deaths is that today? Come on. Oh, god damn it, it crashed again, didn't it? Uh, what is up with my OBS? Is anybody else seeing, like, huge frame lag on OBS right now? Or is it just me? Well, yep, crashed. Well, balls. So how many deaths is that today? It's been a lot. It's been a lot. I don't like it. That requires to see something other than black. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. God. 
Oh, whoa. My random starts mod is gone. Yeah, random spot. There it is. Why wasn't it giving me the option for that? Solo. Custom sandbox. There we go. That was weird. I'm gonna play this damn character. Even though she tends to die. <laughs> okay, we're gonna save this. We're gonna save this. Uh, Min. Max mechanic or me metal. Barney Tapia. Sure, why not? Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Um. Okay. So it, from what I'm seeing, it looks like I'm having frame rate problems in OBS, but it all depends on what it's showing to you guys. Despite my MEA critique, which is about seven pages, I still play the multiplayer because the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer is really fun and I'm stuck for sci-fi action. Min-maxing metal? Yeah! But as we are not, br as we are brothers of metal, will we fall? Probably. Ooh, we got orange soda right off the bat. That's good. That's good. Looks like I'm in a restaurant somewhere. Check the dumpsters. Yes. I've been having latency problems in general. Well, if anybody sees like a bunch of frame rate problems, please let me know. The game froze while loading. Oh, okay, good. No, no, as long as it's fine now. Uh, bread knife. It's in really bad condition. I will take this. I will equip a frying pan. And we've got some bourbon, which has many, many uses. A griddle pan. Jar lid, butter knife. I'll take the chips. We shall avail, brother. And Lemmy, we trust. Lemmy? I was quoting Manowar. I don't know who Lemmy is. That's an extra bread knife I should really take with me. And I should take this coffee. You can eat coffee and it will give you like a ton of fatigue all off. It's fantastic. I'm in a Spiffos. I'm going to take that as a good omen. I started... Oh... Oh! Oh, this is good. This is good. Let me kill Mr. Oh, oh yeah, no, I was... <laughs> I, I was, uh... I, I was quoting uh, Man of War. <laughs> I tried to put a zomboid. I've also realized that I only enjoy zombie games with other people. Yeah, that's fair. That That's totally fair. There's a watch. Where are you? Which probably means I don't enjoy zombie games at all because we all know that people make everything fun. I... I mean, most of the time I actually prefer playing games alone, but like Seven Days to Die was amazing. If only we had not run out of stuff. No, no, no. Oh, my bag. Oh, hi. Up and over. Ugh, God, that's exhausting. Let's try and get in here. No, no alarm, no alarm, no alarm, no alarm. Nothing. So far, so good. It's more like survival games are very lonely. That's fair. Oh man, I I understand that all too well. 
All right, so uh, when you first start the game, depending, uh, it doesn't really depend on what time you start, but you'll sometimes start with a show already playing when you reach your first TV if you're fast enough. Like I did this time with the cooking show. So there'll be one right now and then one at noon. Um, I mean, that's kind of why I stream, you know? I absolutely love survival games, but yes, they are very lonely. All right, this looks like where we're going to be making our ha our home for a while. And I got some chicken tendies. If that's not a good sign, I don't know what is. There's a... God, I hate that it, like, your character just, like, moves back and forth like that. My wife says hello to everybody in streaming land. On the other side of the coin, that loneliness is kind of empowering. Uh, yeah, says you. I don't really feel that, to be honest. It forces you to be alone, but you can become better at it with streaming. It, I mean, I, I stream because it, it helps with the loneliness, so... No, actually, I want these garbage bags to go in here so they're not on the floor. Uh, I don't have anything to move that. I can move this lazy chair. Got about an hour and a frying pan will travel. This is a pretty good start. I don't remember what town this is in, though. And watch somebody in these tiny little houses, like, have a, have a freaking house alarm. Because that's just how things work in my world. Um, I will take one of these. I'll take a bowl, actually. I'll take that kettle. And time to head back to the television. Multiplayer is the best way to play zombie games. It absolutely is. It absolutely is. Like, I really wish that we had not ran out of things to do on uh, on Seven Days to Die. It is absolutely one of my most favorite games ever. And we just ran out of stuff to do. Like, we were kind of invincible. And as much as I love that feeling and getting up to that point, once you get to that point, there's no real goals left. We didn't really have any goals left. And it was obnoxious. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. my wife got me saw so got me smoked sausage links. Oh, oh yes. Eh, open package. Yeah. Ah, oh, did I die? How many times have I died so far today? I think I think I've died three times today. I'm pretty sure I've died three times today. It's been a day, okay? Oh, God damn it. I can take this. I can take it. I can take this. Me and my handy dandy frying pan. Shove. Tactical shoving. Oh, no, you don't. Ho, oh, oh, ho, okay, okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, that was a, that was a huge risk, by the way. I don't know if you noticed. Ha, 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 ha. 
Isn't there a police officer in this? Could have sworn one of these was a police officer. Huh. What happened to that huge base you had? Again, I've died several... Oh, that one. That one. The one from yesterday. Or Friday. Um, you know how the name of this update is I Will Back Up My Save? I kind of... I kind of got on and all of my saves were corrupt. All of them. It was depressing. All right, one thing I want to start working on as well is taking curtains. This place has no curtains. Hmm. Random Disney line from Tangled. I have to get me one of these uh, referring to a frying pan. Yeah, exactly. I don't. I don't think I'm a Disney princess right now. I'm Always was curious in a game that you were alone, like there's nothing but embracing loneliness, where you talk with the void, or the emptiness in a sense. I mean, interesting, I suppose. Uh, pot's good. I've had some very interesting false starts today. It's been a day. God, why do all these people have curtains? Here we go. I, found, I had to go to the bathroom for a sheet. <sighs> if you're alone, your character needs a persona, a personality, a background. The void is talking back. <laughs> Oop. Hi. Sorry. Am I am I interrupting something? Um. I don't know how he just grabbed onto me, but he appeared to get nothing but cloth. So I'm fine. Nothing but bread knives. I was getting lucky on loot like most of this time, but not today. Whoa! No. Always have your pan up when you're about to loot a place. Jesus Christ. My quick save is mouse button 10. There's no quick save in this game. <laughs> what was he doing in that corner, Uwu? No, not Uwu. Don't you uwu with that. He's a zombie. They're dead. We've had that talk. I only need three buttons on my mouse. Uh, I've tried to, I try to use the other buttons occasionally. I just always forget that they're there, you know? Oh, whoa, what is Omni doing covering the windows? Stop it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh. All right, this will help a little bit, especially with noise. You can say I'm living a half-life. Andrew is part of the Zombie Citizens Union. He would be. Alright, wash up. Uh, we have not found cigarettes yet. I'll read this lane's auto manual and then this engineering manual and then I'm gonna go straight into cooking for beginners although cooking doesn't really do anything I'm not going out for the rest of the night would I be a brain rationer I don't know I, I don't yeah I don't know I've got a lot of buttons on my mouse and I feel like I should get used to them, but I've never bothered.
I'll go to 2200 in reading. While I eat my own smokestick. Mmm. There we go. No cigarettes yet, so I may wake up in the middle of the night. In fact, I'm likely to wake up in the middle of the night. I set my alarm. I did not. Yep, woke up in the middle of the night. I got, I got, I got plenty of sleep. I'm fine. Why am I... Oh, I have neck pain. I'm like, why am I in pain? Please say I'm not already, like, dying and just didn't know it. Cold chicken tendies. Mm. Get me some nuggies. I've got several hours until I need to do anything, and I have coffee. I'm actually going to read. I think the problem I have with all the mouse buttons is I don't think I'm dexterous enough with my thumb. <laughs> I will not stop until I achieve transhumanism. Right? Okay, what are we going to eat this morning? Um, yeah, I should make some coffee. I really should. And I've got sugar in here, don't I? Yeah, I got sugar. And there should be a kettle or a mug or a... Stop that. Grab one of those, fill her up. I don't have a mug. Did I not grab a mug anywhere? Yeah, I did. Okay, uh, ooh, yeah, we can disinfect some rags, too, while we're at it. Always useful to have. Okay, uh, da 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 Why can I not make a cuppa? Or in the mug. Great beverage from coffee. And sugar for happiness. Turn off. Fatigue, negative 11. I will take that. Uh, funny story, it's actually better to just eat the coffee outright if you want to get rid of fatigue, but, like, it, it increases unhappiness so much that I never do it. Crouch, run, cover. Quick save, load. Good for shooters. Also, I can afford another setup for its actual use, which is MMOs that use function keys. This is important scene is I don't have function keys. That makes sense. I'm more dexterous with my thumb than my pinky. I have never had a laptop that didn't have num keys. I cannot live without num keys. Come on, I want those books. I still don't know what city I'm in, also. Uh, should, should mention. God, I'm getting a lot of pots. I, I love pots the most. Hanex! Cigarettes. Perfection. All right. Uh, already have all the metalworking stuff. Good. I am a metal worker. Uh, another lighter, box of empty shotgun shells. All right, we're off. Crouch walking everywhere, like you do. 
Uh, I mean that is whoa, Jesus. XQC dog food. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> ah, the loud noises. Hi. Nope. Oh, you had nothing. Shame on you, lady. You love pot, Omni? I can get used to it. It's nice having a lot of it. Did you just jump literally out of your underwears? A little bit. If I was wearing underwear. Bye. Does anybody have any clue where I am right now? I recognize it. I think it's Riverside. <sighs> Love that, like, that's always my reaction with house alarms is just sigh. <laughs> Still just stuck with, like, kitchen implements as my weaponry. It's a little embarrassing. Oh, I should rest. I just sprinted a lot. Sitting down next to a couch and resting? Much better than it could be. Okay, um... This should be safe. Ta-da! Ta-da! All of the zombies should have gone away from our area. What I'm really hoping is that... Yup, 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 yup! I see a key, and it's black, and so is this truck! I'm right next to a gas station. All I have is a frickin' frying pan. Man, if this frying pan breaks, I'm gonna be in trouble. Although, you know, as weapons go, this does its work. Maybe I underestimated the lowly frying pan. There's even food in the back of here. Somebody was looting this place with said truck. It's a full, almost full casting, and an almost perfect truck. What is going on? Holy shit, it's all green. Always get a popsicle fridge. They're very, very important. How can a frying pan break? I mean, if it's one of those crappy stainless steel ones, sure. But it's, oh, if it's cast iron, it'll last forever. Um, I would say, like, if the handle snaps off. And this is one of those crappy stainless steel ones, you can tell by looking at it. Oh, 
We are in business. Hey, I'll just take fucking everything. Well, that's great. Well, at least I'm inside and kind of hidden. I just need to not get so incredibly excited by all of this that I miss out on um, the 12 o'clock TV show. Pipe wrench, much better. I actually want to drop this bread knife because it's almost broken as is. I mean, it's like somebody asking, you know, how can a how can a pipe wrench break? Um, and the answer is, I don't know. I've never caved in a skull with one. I don't know if I would trust a gas station pork chop. Few gas tanks. That's good. Uh, we have enough to get to our goal now, which is really, really good. I'm really happy right now. All we've got to do is survive the week. Uh, apparently my, my truck had a problem with that. <laughs> We're staying here for a week, but I want to get moving. Always turn off your, ga your car if you're going to be feeling it. Yeah, two full gas cans and a full gas tank. That can get me, like, anywhere in Knox County. I just gotta figure out where I am. I recognize this. Ah. Oh, no way. Did I start in Riverside? I think I might have started in Riverside. Okay, this is my goal. This is where I want to go. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I am here. There's a police station right there. I think I should raid before going back home. Would you want to go anywhere? I have a specific uh, goal of a base that I'm really trying out right now. And it was really fun last time. You know what? It's 11 o'clock. I should not. I should go back home. Oh. Well, that's fun. Why am I queasy? It's got to be some food that I ate or something. I'm prone to illness, so. Random queasy will sometimes happen. Because I haven't been injured yet. I might miss today's show. I think this frying pan is going to break soon. <laughs> it's doing less damage as time goes on. I was really worried there. I know it doesn't seem like it, but oh my god, I was actually really worried there. <laughs> Whew, okay, uh, it is 11.40. Yeah, the nausea is already gone.
What'd you miss? Uh, death. Uh, this other jacket's in perfect condition. Any, yes, meat patties. Looking for anything I need to keep frozen. Otherwise, I'll stay in here. Yeah, I died again uh, with a great character, and I'm really upset that that one died. Oh, my God. Like, she started out in a great spot upstairs with a machete. Like, oh, it was so good. Yeah, there's been a lot of deaths today. Uh, where are we? I think I'm in Riverside. I think I am. I am... Yeah, I'm up here. When I want to get all the way over here. Hmm. Before I go, I hit the bookstore. I hit the pharmacy. And the hardware store. Try and look for a trailer. All right. We are set up. How are we doing on on loading space? Um, this is actually pretty full. Damn. We'll take the un the least heavy stuff and we'll go dump it inside. Uh, I can get a trailer, but I do have to be mindful of the weight because this is not our final destination. Come on, come on, you like me. My truck is Sundari. Going toward places that might have. <laughs> Alexa, play back black. Blah. Alexa, play back in black. <laughs> Oh, this is meant to be. Ah, oh, two fifty six. Oh, yes, this appeals to my tiny goth heart. You will not ruin this truck, lady. Hey, where's my pan? Oh no, I dropped my pan. No, oh, equip pr prime. Pr mm. Hold on, hold on. Just, just wait. I'll be with you in a second. Ooh. This thing still has a lot of uh, a lot of durability for how many zombies it's taken out. Like, I really underestimated the frying pan. Uh, it can't always rain. No, no, no. I want those scissors. God, I hate crawlers. Hey, I'm not sort of a threat, but if you don't pay attention, then I'll scratch your ankles. 
That sounds exactly like my dog. I don't get the scissors. Pan is the new meta. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Like, I'm really shocked at how well this pan is doing. I mean, short blunt is always pretty powerful. Let's be honest. All right, so I make sure of what I have all the time. I'm going to load all of this that I can into the truck. So I know my weight limits. A lot of this I will be getting rid of or dismantling. So a lot of it won't matter. My truck has gone up to 102. It was 70 before. Huh. Apparently the tri truck likes me better now. So, like, the radios weigh, like, a pound and a half apiece. Um, so those won't matter. Short Blunt ain't fancy, but she's brutal and effective. That's right. Um, I'm a little bored, but I'm not unhappy. I could probably hit one more place before tonight. Or just kill more zombies that are in the area. Yep. Uh, this is what I'm doing with my evening. Hi. Like, in the tutorial, they tell you to, they, they give you a frying pan to use as a weapon. I thought it was supposed to demonstrate that you can use a lot of different things as a weapon in this game. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Uh, but I'm starting to think, like, maybe they were telling, trying to tell us that the pan is, like, the most powerful weapon. God damn. Go down. Jesus! Fuck! Go! Oh no! Well, rip pan. That's why it wasn't killing anything. Well, frying pan, you served me well. My panic is, like, super high right now. <laughs> it, it did some work. It saved us a lot of trouble. All right, what are we having for dinner? French fries? French fries. I remember that I do need to lose some weight. Um, did, wait, did I start with overweight? No, I didn't. I need to keep my weight up. I need to keep my weight balanced to exactly where it is. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do some... What are my skills at? Do burpees? If I get too fatigued, it will slow me down. So we'll do a set of burpees while we're sitting here waiting. But only the one. So one set of burpees a night. That's my plan. I don't have like any books to watch or anything. It looks like fishing today. Nope, farming.
I'm gonna look around just a little bit more before I call it a night. I think I hit all the houses, but I'm not sure. I did hit this one, I know that. I really hope I didn't just alert that zombie horde. Um, who am I kidding? I know I alerted that zombie horde. Sigh. A bandage. <laughs> it has a key. Hi. Oh god, why do I not have my weapon out? Uh, exercise will do that. You unequip everything when you're exercising. I got a prize for my efforts. Did I? Grab it. There we go. Does chopping wood increase your axe proficiency? Uh, yeah, I don't know, actually. I mean, you'd think it would. I'm up to 44 zombies by hand already. All right, wash off everything. Have a smoke. Let's go see if there's anything in the truck. Any book that I might have missed. Cooking for beginners looks to be the... Oh, wait. Let's organize it by category. Uh, yep, cooking for beginners is the only one. Darn. Well, tomorrow I'm going to hit Enigma. You know, I think it might. I know that um, I know that it raises maintenance. Chopping wood does. It also raises strength a little bit. How did my pants get dirty when I was sleeping? Post office? There's the post office here too, shit. There's a lot of places that I need to loot before I leave here. Ah, I really hope the truck can handle it all. We're just gonna sit here while I wait for the show. I'm almost thinking that I should just take this television with me. Yep, there's the exercise fatigue I was waiting for. Huh. I ran out of cooking for beginners. What do you know? Did I poo myself? I don't know. You never use the toilet in this game. That brings up terrifying implications. But so far, there's only been like two games ever where you actually need to defecate. I mean, I'm assuming there's more, but there's been two games that I've played where you need to. Alright, Enigma Books, Sports Store, and then Hardware Store is what I'm thinking. Here we go, Plush, time for sport. Time for sport! Sport time. Also, uh, no getting into unnecessary fights today. I'm fatigued from the burpees. I've said weirder things. There we go, school bag. At the start. I'll probably get better. Before I'm even out of this place. 
tote bag, tote bag, hens, sports t-shirt, hockey stick, and a tennis racket. I'll take the hockey stick. Maybe I can make it into a spear or something. Long socks. Another tennis racket. Oh my god. I've said where to things. Yeah. It happens. Uh, I will take it. I got a fucking hockey helmet. And there it is. Big hiking bag. And swimming goggles. What do you think, coach? Are you ready for the apocalypse? Look like I'm ready for a uh, Deuce X. Let's equip secondary now. Go. Garbage bag goes in here. Cowboy hat in there. Hockey stick. All right, next stop, Enigma. Oh, no. Well, that got their attention. It's not me, though, so hopefully it's dri driving them away from me. No, my truck! She was in perfect condition, how dare you? You at the pharmacy yet? No. That was my first stop today, otherwise I'd just hit houses and the gas station. Yep, oh, I'm I this is the post office, so. Are you getting a is there like a long uh What's the word? Delay? Right now or something? Okay, hopefully that's the key to everything here. Oh, where was that black cowboy hat when I started to drive my big black truck? Well, I need that. I believe it's pharmacy next, then Enigma. Maybe. Um, I am personally hoping for uh, the hardware store too today, but I don't think I'm going to get it all. Maybe I should just bring the tele. What are you hopping around for? I also need to decide like what books I'm bringing with me because I'm not going to bring all of them. All right, we call. We all clear. I think we're kind of clear. Some baseball bats. I don't know why, but I will take it. Don't you have like a tablet or something? Or a laptop? God, this never fails to make me happy. I really should decide on what I'm bringing with me and what I need to leave behind. Uh, I will leave behind a cowboy hat. Uh, the charcoal I will leave behind. I'm going to have to take apart a lot of stuff before I'm actually ready to go. I'm just starting to already worry about weight, which I probably don't have to. All right, one of each book that I see. Or do I just organize? Uh, let's leave behind the journals. I'll leave behind duplicates, but I'm not going to organize them right now. We're out in the middle of the city.
Daddy Soviet redeemed get a snack. You got it. Oh, I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna have another one of these pepperoni sticks. Hell yeah. Nom 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 nom. I'm definitely seeing some duplicates here. And I usually take duplicates with me so I can burn them later and use them for fuel, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Like, where I'm going has a lot of trees and a lot of uh, foraging I can do. So, the only reason we're keeping literature now is learning. And possibly wiping my butt. Because, and I don't know how much I can stress this, nobody ever takes personal hygiene into account during an apocalypse. Uh, sir? Thank you. All the books. All right, that's the post office done. It is 10 o'clock. I'm gonna go just grab that damn TV. I'm gonna grab a TV to take with me. I can't keep constantly running back home. Should be lag free now, but I can't play while watching. We, I mean, there's lots of ways to be able to watch. Uh, Kindles, phones, like... Have I been in this house? Nope. I definitely would have done something about that. I hear something coming. Yep, thought so. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Take my kid's Kindle to watch it on. <laughs> I mean, she's got a tablet, too. <laughs> okay, it is currently 10.30, so we got a little bit more time now that I've got a television to work with. Pretty sure it's the pharmacy next. Hmm. Nope, hardware store. This is not a show for children. I mean, Muse's 10 year old is like obsessed with Duncan Rumpa, which is a show about, like, which is literally a death game. Where, when killed, people are ripped apart in a very gory manner. There was another. I thought there was another. Hmm. My kid is weird, but your kid is weird in the best way. I completely agree. Oh, hammer, pliers, uh, tarp in case I need it, metal sheets, saw. I'm not going to take extra tools this time. You have a whole TV with you? I mean, you don't carry your pocket TV? If I don't find a welding mask and a welding torch here, I'm going to cry. 
I'm not going to find him here. I can already feel it. Uh, uh, there's one of them. Oh, I'm full. Ten pegs. Uh, there's a good axe. Air tanks, which are used to make the, uh, the guns. The scrap guns. Uh, I'll take a club hammer. Yeah, a good weapon. Oh, yes. Wood axe. Where did I put that? That's none of your business. A lady never tells. I'm not going to find a friggin' propane torch here. I can feel it. I don't know if I can still hear the television from outside. VIP 43 VIP months in a row. Just subscribe. VIP lots of axes. That's right. That's what I like to see. VIP has never ever missed a month of subscribing and it's very impressive. This morning in religious edu education, she was telling her educator about her favorite ships and most toxic characters in her favorite games and anime. Teacher was trying really hard not to crack up. That is so, so Zoe all over. Weird Tag has joined. Thank you for the follow, Weird Tag. You know what? It's noon. I guess I'm just not hearing the television. Yep. I missed a little bit of carpentry. That's all right. Oh, balls. We might be invaded. In which case, I'll have to abandon the television. Also, uh, no propane tanks. I can already... No propane torches. I can already see it. Uh, it's a hard hat. I don't want to take that. I've got a mining helmet and a hockey helmet. Damn it. Okay, now, tent. It is four tent pegs. I do not have four tent pegs. I only found two here, so I'll leave those behind. I love that you're slowly becoming pro Riverside. Oh, but Riverside is the best. I was never anti-Riverside. It's now time to be checking this. Now is not the time. Um, it, it, that wasn't an alarm here. That was an alarm somewhere else. So I'm probably fine. It is why I'm duck walking right now. Oh, see? They didn't see a thing. I think Rosewood, I think I was addicted to Rosewood because, like, I couldn't conquer it. What's the best way to not get gnawed by zombies in your sleep? Sleep in safe places. Fuck! You knocked off my welding mask! It's the only thing I have to me. How dare you. Turn off sleeping events? <sighs> well, I guess. <laughs> if if you're a weak baby. I'm uh I'm joking, by the way. Whatever you want to do, whatever makes the game fun for you is the way that you should play the game. Don't have a blanket of barbecue sauce. That's also very, very good advice. I don't have anything on my back right now. <laughs> There we go. Want to keep a long-range weapon. We learned that last time. All right. Now, I think it's time I might be able to go to the pharmacy. I wonder what makes it safe. I turn off the lights, doors, curtains. Uh, I always block off doorways, windows. 
saucer. There's the bookstore. Sleeping events just to irritate me, but yes, your list sounds good. Also, make sure all, sure all your gadgets are turned off. That's a, that's nice advice, actually. You know, I've never actually checked these shops on the other side. Oh, I can't wear the swimming goggles along with the welding mask. That makes sense. Yeah, definitely, like, as little noise as possible if you don't want to be noticed. Always uh, clear zombies out from your area with as little noise as possible so that more don't wander in. Come on. Why a welding mask uh, over the hockey helmet? Um, I don't want scratches on my face. I don't understand the question. I don't want the zombies to be able to look me in the eye. That's how they capture your soul. For maximum horror movie slasher cosplay. If I'm going to be killing people left and right, I mean, I might as well try and fit the character. God, look at my weight because of this damn TV. <laughs> I don't even remember where my home was. Woo! I noticed that just in time. Okay, I'm alright. I'm alright. There's a lot of zombies coming, and I'm very tired. Oh, yeah, we're out of here. Alright, Teddy Trey, I'll see you later. Have a good time streaming. Okay, maybe we drop the TV. I don't want I didn't want to sacrifice my truck for this, but uh, I'm now tired. And so were they, but I'm bum. Whew. I thought helmet was a hundred scratch defense. It is, but you can wear them both if you have the right mod for it. Which I do. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang out out here for a minute. Whew. Ayo <laughs> No pharmacy? I was trying to empty the bookstore. I haven't even seen the pharmacy yet. Do you want some wrench? Go away. Get on the other side of this for safety. Like in real life, your top priority in a zombie uh, zombie event should be establishing a new library. Yes, actually, one hundred percent. Yes, 
I'm not even being facetious. Knowledge is power. Do me a favor if you if you really are if you if you want to like prep for a zombie apocalypse, get a old fashioned nook. Uh, one of the really, really old ones that is eye ink instead of a tablet. Because um, they had they, they hold... Uh, no, I should not fight this. I should not fight this. Get in. Get in. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was way more than I expected. Blah. <sighs> uh, e ink, yeah. Sorry, sorry. E ink. It it's it is way way more battery efficient. Load that thing up with as many um as many books on uh, herbalism and survival and knots and just all this stuff that you can. Just like a plethora of SD cards filled with knowledge. And then get some of those, uh, get solar panels that can power it and uh, tie and just like attach that to the back of it. Boom. Portable survival library. <sighs> I was actually a little frightened there, by the way. That was way more stressful than I'd like. My Android app is called Survival Manual. Yes, but can you use it when there's no internet? And plus, you know, it's an Android, so the, the battery's not going to be the best. Ooh, well, there we go. If they make a phone game, if they make this a phone game, they're never going to make this a phone game. It's too complicated. Seriously, that's kind of badass. I'm going to look that up once my kid is done with my phone. Yeah, I, I totally am too, by the way. I totally am going to do that. There's an entry for everything. Everything? Where the fuck am I going? All right, there's that right this way. That's good that it works offline. That was my main concern. I don't remember where my home is. Where I was making my little hidey base. Oh, it was in here. Okay. Does it remind you of SWAT? I never played SWAT. In a real zombie event, I'm taking the easy way out. Well, why? You miss out on all the fun. <laughs> Alright, that was a very productive day. The Congregation of Dead Bodies uh, is a good way to know where the home is, right? In a real zombie event, I'm the guy to know. Same. Same. Okay, so let's get rid of some extras here. Basically, the way that I get rid of extras is, if it says grab one, that means that there's multiple. It's that easy. Here we go. 
Good stuff. Look at all this crap. Look at all this weight that I'm getting rid of. Full seven pounds. I can help you survive off land and make primitive weapons for survival. Uh, I I have plans in case of any kind of apocalypse or uh, even just loss of uh, of infrastructure. I've trained in survival stuff most of my life. Actually, video tests to be taken apart and then for electronic skill. Uh, I got bread, chips. Not the chips. The bread. I need to put in the fridge. Our books are in multiple places, so we might have a lot of extras in that. Our duplicates that are one's in the truck and one's not in the truck kind of thing. But I'm just doing what I can right now. All right, now we look for stuff to read. I recently joined survival groups on Facebook, and I'm doing some learning there. It's fun. I like, you know, knock on wood, I will uh, never have to use it, but it's, it's always fun to have. All right, I need to get inside. You can use paper clips to... Oh, my God, I didn't know. I want a practice cabin. Honestly, it'd probably be the only home I'll ever own in this economy, but I'd like a practice cabin. Off the grid, near a water source, nothing fancy. Me too. That actually sounds really cool, actually. Uh, my, my grandparents used to own something like that. Like, even if uh, go to town making it a prepper cabin, I mean, I want land. I, I can't fight against that. I want land. Uh, we've got carpentry two, metalworking three. So I can read metalworking intermediate. Um, mechanics, trapping. Did I, already, I haven't read trapping for beginners. I should read that. Because we do get a TV show on trapping. Man, the fly population has got to be having a heyday. I killed a lot of zombies today. What am I having for dinner? I do have a cabin in the middle of the woods. How haunted is it? With lots of propane, wood, canned goods, etc. That just sounds so good. I want that. Oh, this one's messy. If zombies or some kind of other blood trance or plague ever happens, go north to where mosquitoes can't survive. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Smart. Yeah, a lot of people don't take those things into account. Like bugs and diseases carried by bugs. I'm going to eat baby food. It's not a prepper thing, just a family thing. I understand. Like I, like I said, my grandpa had one like that for a long time, and I wish I had used it. But by the time he sold it, it was... I, I was not old enough to uh, to appreciate how awesome that is. Everyone says a rabies variant is actually the scariest bioplague and very zombie-like. Um, except that rabies kills you, like, instantly. So, well, not instantly, but... <coughs> I don't think it drives people insane like it does animals. But I'm not a doctor. Oh, before I go to bed burpees for a half hour and then we use uh, the rest of this time to read oh crazy aggression well yeah i didn't know that i've never heard of anybody having rabies so I mean, I know it happens. That's not what I'm saying. I've just, I've never, like, met anybody who's had it to, you know, give me an anecdote.
Oh, one moment. Sorry, my wife was asking questions about a game. I don't know. to my wish list for my birthday. Yeah. Um, God, what was it called? Do you remember it was super cool? No, I know which one you're talking about. Like, it's my most watched video. <laughs> I mean, that's why they gave me a free copy of the second one. I just don't remember what it was called. Okay. So, do me a favor when you find it, message me. Um, it, I will be through this in just a moment. Thea, The Awakening. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, that one. Thank you. <laughs> All right, back to the game. We've had one person survive rabies ever. Super experimental treatment. It's super deadly. Well, yeah, I mean, like, it's, uh... There, there's a vaccine. I know you can be cured of it. You have to get shots within four hours of exposure. Yeah, that's that's it. On the Office TV show, they did a cure for rabies run. Makes sense. Once you've shown symptoms, it's too late. Yep. Yeah, super smart virus. I know what you mean. Like... Uh, okay. Almost missed my show. I love that you can read and uh, read and watch television at the same time. You know, I might hit the pharmacy and then start on my way. If this truck would start, my God, my engine's in good shape. Even real life cars don't have that much trouble starting. Just for fucking drama. In some places, the third world rabies is still a big problem, yeah. Who was that hassling you? That was my wife. I need to go here. I'm sure you understand. I'm probably not going to find anything. Uh, the, this PlayStation never really has much in it, but it's worth a look, and it'll be quick. Oh, and I can get this water cooler. Super important to get water coolers when you have them. I didn't realize you could remove broken glass. Yeah. What, have you just been jumping through broken windows? <laughs> oh my god, have you just been jumping through broken windows? You should beat down the evidence locker door. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking, yeah. Police station should be stacked with shoddies. Not if every single police officer was, like, called away because of emergency calls, you know? Okay, so what I need is hammer, screwdriver. Yeah, that's kind of how I think it is like... I don't know why my character is here. All I know is I must kill. Um, but, like, this place has been abandoned. And I'm assuming that a lot of... Uh, a lot of that had to do with, like... Uh, somehow I just missed the evacuation notice. 
That's kind of my headcanon for it, is I missed the evacuation notice. Didn't know that was even possible. Uh, I just hit doors with my weapons. Oh, I mean, you could do that too. Okay, we got a little bit of ammo and a couple knives. No guns. Could have been better, but at least I got some ammo. Especially a shotgun ammo, which is like my most used weapon. Depending on the weapon, it's like 20-ish hits, so you want a sacrificial weapon or super weapon. Yeah, no, I'd just rather take it apart with the tools that I got from the hardware store. Plus, that ups my carpentry skill. Now, if only I had gotten a propane torch. I could be working on my fucking metalworking, but no. I've had pistols in the Sunstar Hotel. You can find pistols anywhere. Uh, any, they, they, they show up in a lot of places. Uh, was I taking apart the Enigma books before? I think that was it. Before I got ran off. Look at you with your fancy screwdriver taking apart doors. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Enigma Books. That was my next stop, and then I got ran out of there. Yep. I think... I think they moved on. Or they're inside the bookstore waiting to ambush me. I'm not saying zombies get tactical, but zombies get tactical. Son of a bitch. Well, I, I've got an axe. I'll be okay. There was a gunshot somewhere, so that means that the zombies might hear me moving around and might come in to investigate. Fucking meta events, man. Can't do anything. <laughs> But I need these books. Knowledge is power, or so G.I. Joe tells me. The rest is blue and green lasers. Blue and red lasers. Uh, in your tag, what does QIA mean? Uh, LGBTQIA. It's, um, oh my god. Somebody want to, like, Google it really quick? <laughs> I mean, it's it's uh, queer, intersex, asexual. Yeah. Uh, it's it, we've honestly gotten so many acronyms that people are starting to refer to it as just quilt bag. Okay, we're good. No, not on the body. God damn it, every time. I see a Zed over there. I'm just going to let him wander away. Queer seems derogatory. It's one of those, like, words that was that is used in a derogatory way that did not have an origin that was derogatory. It, or, like, was used to insult us, and now we're taking it back kind of thing, you know? We're here, we're queer, etc. Okay, where? There's the pharmacy. That should be my last stop. I should not be using this axe for this. Uh, actually, no, I should. I totally have two wood axes and several hand axes. Alright, I'm going to do a quick thing. Uh, 
that seems to be fine over there. I don't want them to wander into me, but if I'm not in danger of them wandering into me, I'm not going to worry. What do you think? Should I go clear that mob over there first? This place is getting kind of crowded. Per Google, Q can mean queer or questioning. Uh, a can be ace or ally. No, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Uh, that is ace erasure. Uh, because it's not considered a sexual uh, orientation, which is absolute horseshit. I'm really worried about that mob down there. I should be able to take the whole pharmacy. Most of the stuff in there is pretty small. Ally is meant for straight people. Okay, no. We need to... It's okay to be an ally. You don't have to be straight to be an ally. It can mean you're an ally to anything. You're a trans ally. You're uh, an ally to asexuals. Like... It's okay to be straight. But it does not fall within the LGBT... It, it does not fall into that whole thing. Okay? You can be an ally. You don't need a letter. And uh, Q absolutely does not mean questioning. Whoever wrote that on Google needs, should be ashamed of themselves. It's like people who say that if you're a trans woman that you uh, can't be that that you can't be a feminist. Like, oh my god, it makes me so fucking angry. Trans exclusionary feminist terps like fucking J.K. Rowling. I'll just say it; they need to be shot. Yeah, you can support the whole thing. Just you don't need a letter. Like, the letter's not the important bit. Can I get behind there? It looks like there's like a like a room or something I can get into. Oh, good thing somebody left it fucking unlocked then. Just different orgs who adopted the term had different definitions from the beginning, so now it's just confusing. It's also people who try and exclude other people from their super secret club. It's really frustrating. You can't, like, say that, like, complain that you've been persecuted forever and then persecute other people. How fucking dare you? But that was a pretty good trip into the pharmacy. Uh, 11.40, so I need to put my television down. You wish death on the one who gave us Harry. Yes. Yes, I do. She made something wonderful, and then she fucking tainted it with her bigotry. Fuck that bitch. There should be a council or something that truly decides the meanings. <sighs> then it would just get ridiculously elitist.
I do notice in the queer community around here, there's a lot of holier than thou. That's my problem. Like, it's supposed to be about inclusivity. Let it be about inclusivity by including everyone. When I saw that explain being a straight ally is not, it, it supports. I, I mean, yeah, but anybody who said that the A stands for ally is generally trying to do it to erase asexuality, which is a sexual orientation. And it's very, very horrible. It's all very confusing. Yes, let me call the council of the queers and we will make it clear for all those who are not. Yeah, let me get right on that. <laughs> All right, you yeah, think there's any other place here that I need to hit before I leave? I think I'm good. Yeah, the plus is there for everybody else. Exactly, exactly. Uh, but the one, basically the ones that are, uh, th there's some that are important to be included. And that's, that's the big deal. I sh there was a zombie that was like right in there. I should not. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> I'm really overweight, so I'm going to be attacking very slowly. And while I want to drop this stuff off, I need to make sure I'm safe first. Safety first, safety first. All right, Gogoyle. Thank you for hanging out. You have a great day. A lot of first aid stuff. I wonder if PFLAG did the A for Ally that I have no idea who that is. All right, I'm going to head back to the original house, grab all the food and stuff that I have left out there. And then I think I'm going to try and travel. I should not. I sh uh, this is this is a tough decision. Like if I try and travel with the television, I might not always make it to a place uh, that has that has electricity, you know? Do you support gender fluidity? I should. I am gender fluid. And anybody who says they're LGBT and didn't want to associate with gender fluidity uh, is a bigot. That's, oh my god, that's a lot of zombies there. Uh, but yeah, the, if they do that, that's transphobia. And that's disgusting. I might end up traveling already, Jesus. And uh, basically, you can't call yourself an ally, or uh, you can't call yourself queer, and then hate transgender people. You cannot. What if someone claims something on behalf of a group? Yeah, if somebody claims something on behalf of an entire group that has no actual organization, I need to note. They're usually wrong. Oh, I forgot to drop my television in there. Like you say, y'all should or make that more clear. Uh, we literally can't. There's no actual organization. <laughs> it's just a bunch of people who don't want to be killed for being themselves anymore, you know? It was explained to me the gender fl shit. Survival first, then reading Omni. Uh, there we go. Gender fluidity is identifying as a young person and can hook up with people under 18. No, that's pedophilia. Jesus. Who the fuck wrote that? What the fuck? Wow. Holy shit. No. No, 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 no. Pedophilia is not a sexual orientation. It's a fucking um mental condition. It's a fucking mental illness. Jesus Christ. 
What the fuck? Can I hate people in general? I kind of do after hearing that. Yeah, that is definitely, like, that was written by somebody who's very conservative and has no idea what they're fucking talking about. <sighs> Jesus. It's like the people who used to say that all homosexuals were pedophiles. Oh. <sighs> Gender fluid is non-binary, yes. Yeah, that's the exact same excuse. The the exactly what VIP just said. That's the exact same thing where people claim that everybody who has a non cis uh gen ori orient sexual orientation is a pedophile. Like that is so frustratingly common. But that's conservative propaganda. God, I'm upset now. Okay, concentrating on the game. Concentrating on the game. I'm gonna take some time. Jeez, I'm I'm like I, I'm actually like shaking a little bit. <sighs> Completely ignore the straight pedophiles. Probably have quite a few who make those claims exactly. And then, you know, instead of getting actual psychological help, they just abuse other people. It should be understood as a psychological condition. Because it is. There's no shame in psychological conditions. But you shouldn't abuse other people with them. I can't read that. Ah. <sighs> Article I seen just didn't mean to upset you. It's, you did not upset me, bad English. It was not you that upset me. It's that article. <clears throat> My country, there's a lot of misinformation. Yeah, that's normal. Surprised that I see people that aren't anything but straight. When I do meet LGBT people, it's awesome. They feel different. It's a different energy around them. Yeah, that's... Nobody should live in fear of what they are. And it is all too common to be murdered for who you are. In America, we still have the law of surprise. And I'm not talking like, I'm not even talking about like um, what they had in uh, uh, what they had in The Witcher, which was hilarious. I'm talking about um, There's a law. There's a law in a lot of states where if uh, you go on a date with a girl and then get into a sexual situation for her, and it turns out that she's trans uh, and actually has a penis, then you're allowed to kill her because she surprised you. What? Yeah, no, our country's a trash fire. <sighs> oh my god, I'm trying to not be ranty and soapboxy. When was this passed as law? It's always been a law. Always. Uh, because trans people are considered less than human. all there is to it if you're not cis if you're not normal you're considered less than human and not worthy of uh, being treated like a good person basically 
It's disgusting, but that's the way this country works. <sighs> All right, so. Whew. I'm trying my best right now not to soapbox. I'm very sorry if, every, if, if anybody basically came here just to, to watch the stream or is on YouTube later and is like, kind of like, what the hell's going on? Um, I've, I've had my teeth broken in. I've had things stolen from me. I've been stabbed. Uh, when I say that this is not a joking matter, I mean it. It's it's a it's a situation that is very close to me and has actually threatened my life on several occasions. So I get a little heated. They actually made a sound for slicing bread. Wow. I'm proud of states that passed laws against the gay panic defense. It used to be okay to try and argue you're innocent because you panicked when the person of the same sex hit on you and you panicked and killed them. That too, yeah. Like like, uh, there's been defenses of the panic defense where a guy gets hit on by another guy and then fucking shoots him or hunts him down a week later and kills him in his sleep. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. Did it again. <sighs> but that's happened. Um, it's like people who use the uh, the pejorative trap uh, as a as a description for uh, for for trans women, not realizing how many times it's been used to kill people. It's a lot. I believe in southern states, most small they call it the Matthew Shepard law. I I don't know. I don't I don't even know. Okay, we're going to make a chicken sandwich with pickle relish and ketchup. What? But, but no salt and pepper? Why is there no salt and pepper? That's weird. But it should be called as first degree murder. You'd think. Yeah, I cook of course I cooked the chicken. Of course I cooked the chicken. Why does this give me unhappiness? What is with this game? Because of the eggs. I know. Right? I I don't have any cheese right now. Sad day for me. Oh, I don't need to smoke. Um, I do need to eat the rest of this sandwich, though, it looks like. I thought I had enough. There we go. Going to bed with a full belly. That sounds sanitary. Sounds healthy. Okay, so we've got all the places looted. I don't need to leave this house. Need your vicarious cheese? That's the best I'm going to get. Since I can't have cheese. Uh, I'm going to take all the stuff that is is not directly needed or doesn't need to be in a fridge and I'm gonna go toss it in the truck in case I need to make a quick getaway I can leave the food behind and replace the food later um, let's dump this out I mean, pickle relish, ketchup, cooked chicken, and bread. I suppose that's a sandwich. Technically. I have nowhere filled this thing up. Cool. Uh, the rest of this time, I'm going to... Oop, nope, I still have stuff in my inventory. Forgot that I've made food. Thought I heard something. 
Most of this stuff I'm going to drop off. Including my bags. And my helmets. And stuff like that. I'm going bare minimum. And I'm going to spend the next few days doing nothing but burpees and reading. Basically, the plan is if I need to take off, I'm going to need to take off instantly. I want to have as little weight on me as possible for the burpees. I also want to make as little noise as possible, you know? And we're also going to be watching television. <sighs> Still actually calming down. Like, when I hear about people saying very, very stupid things, or comparing mental illness with sexual orientation, it makes my teeth hurt because of how many teeth I've had broken for my sexual orientation. But clearly, this is how I am. And it's clearly not being beaten out of me or changing. And since I'm going to therapy and I'm highly medicated, clearly it's not a mental illness, because that's never changed. Man, I've done a lot of burpees today. This might be a mistake. <laughs> Oops, not that one. Reading. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be hurting a lot, so tomorrow I'm probably going to be reading more than anything else. So basically I'm just waiting until my endurance meter goes back up and then do more burpees until I'm in too much pain to move. While also learning about carpentry. I've been having a problem with food. How should I know how much food I should have with me or at my base? Um, if you don't have a bar mod like I do, uh, I would recommend just making sure that the food mood, the hungry mood lid is never there. That's basically all you need. Um, like I usually carry like a bag of chips or two if I'm going out traveling. Uh, at my base, I keep literally all the food I will ever need and I ever find because winter is a thing. Oop, did I finish the book? Oh, I did. Oh, okay. How much experience have I gained today? Not enough. Oh my god, that's going to take forever. I left all the books in my bag. I'm a smart boy. <laughs> but yeah, once winter comes, you're going to want all the food you can get your hands on. So... Uh, safe houses. How do you know what is okay or a good place to have a little safe, pl safe place? Uh, it's um, SMRT. Let's see. Foraging. Start with that one next. Uh, let's, let's think about this. So, got to be away from urban centers. Um... It could be in urban centers only if the zombies can't get to you. That's the big that's the big change is whether zombies can reach you or not. And there's the first bit of pain, so I'm not going to be able to do anything else tonight. Um in fact, I kind of don't know if I should sleep this whole time. I'm worried about zombies breaking in. Uh cuz if they do break in, I'm doomed. Um, and I, if I'm hurt, I w if I'm fatigued, I won't be able to fight them anyway. But if I'm very, very tired, it's going to make it even worse. Hmm. So, like, I could just stay up for several days.
and just be horrifically exhausted. It's it's a risk, but I'd get things done faster. Uh, actually, no, at the same time, I wouldn't be able to work out. I should go to sleep. Uh, 27 food, yeah. Basically, uh, how much you want to eat depends on... Um... Oh, I'm in agony. I won't be able to sleep. How do you feel about Christians? Um, depends on the type of Christian. I've met really good ones. I've met really bad ones. I guess I'm reading all night. Let's face the broken window. Let's 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 go over here and face the windows, just in case. Should I put a table outside that door? Yeah, I should. Maybe there's a broken window here. I don't have a hammer. Yeah, that, that's really all I got to say about that is like, I've got two friends, in fact, one who comes on here, two who come on here, actually, uh, Squish and Chaos Mage, uh, who are Christians like they should be. Like, actually follow the teachings of the Bible and Jesus. And then there's the ones who use it as an excuse to hate other people, which you're going to find those people everywhere. All right. So yeah, as long as you don't like use it as an excuse, as, as long as you don't use Christianity as a as a stick to beat other people with, then you're doing great. Um, I didn't find any religious people who are okay with LGBT people yet. Uh, I found a lot actually, because it literally says nowhere in the Bible to hate gay people or people of other orientations. Nowhere. Uh, that whole passage that Christians always bring up, like idiots, that uh, says man will not lay with another man as with a woman. Yeah, that's a, that that's not correct. It's man will not lay with a boy. This man will not lay with a child. Okay, it's against pedophilia. People are just dumb. And we'll use it as a, it, it's, no matter where you go, there's always going to be people. Okay, let's just, yeah, let's just co cover this. No matter where you go or what you do in life, there's going to be people who are going to hate you for it. So fuck the haters. You can't make everybody happy. Be yourself and be happy. That's all that matters in life. Be genuine. Be honest, be good, be happy. No matter what that entails, as long as it doesn't hurt other people, do it. I don't know why that's such a difficult concept. Like, you think don't be a dick would be pretty clear. Ah, oh, balls. Well, that's gonna suck. People just like to be at people just like to be assholes. I will never understand. Like there's a there's a great example of Gary the Gargoyle uh, on Facebook right now. Uh, this guy, I don't know where he is, but like he didn't want to take down his Halloween decorations because he found a really cool gargoyle statue, uh, and he left it up on his uh, on his front porch. Um, and like, I need to cook that actually. He left it up on his front porch. And then put a Santa hat on it as like a little joke, as a Christmas thing. And this fucking lady in his neighborhood went ballistic on him. 
like got really really mad and like started like threatening him and like knocking over his decorations and just all of this shit Say because it wasn't Christmassy enough because it wasn't Christian and apparently um uh get this apparently Christmas is a Christian holiday um I don't know how to tell anybody it's really really not <laughs> It's super not. It's a pagan holiday. Uh, but because the decorations weren't Christmassy, uh, she started losing her goddamn mind, calling the cops on him, and the cops would come and be like, what the fuck is this lady's problem? Um, all of this shit. It, it, yeah, it's hijacked winter solstice. Some people have been brainwashed by a lot of sources or just being dolts. Yeah. Christians are still killed in some places? Uh, yeah. Uh, not... It, wait a minute. Did I... Is that two cooked meat patties? Should it better be. Um, n not in the, uh, the, the, the measures that other people are. I mean, we live in a... We, we live in America right now, or at least most of us do, so... That's not a good enough defense. Sorry. No, I have to face the window. I have to face the window. Got to make sure I'm facing this direction. I'm going to close this door, too, because there's a window in here. I'm just basically making sure that I'm facing the windows and can see anything coming. I'm not facing this one, but I should be okay for now. Uh, 50. Th this bar is 100, by the way. Uh, the, the 50 this this regards to the 50 hunger it fills is the percentage that it's going to fill a bar defense for what i'm confused i was just making a statement okay now i thought you were like defending well christians are persecuted in other places too and i mean yeah true but not in this country so i don't know what to tell you oh my pain's gone hey um i can i can i can work out again I don't think working out makes any noise. That's pretty cool. I like that. I don't know what that means, Andrew Dan. <laughs> I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Oh, so once you get to ridiculously tired, you can't uh, regenerate endurance anymore. So, yeah, I'm kind of just stuck. I had that one thing of burpees and that was it. <laughs> There was a Christian with COVID killed in this country not long ago because he prayed in front of his hospital mate not too long ago. I'm not sure, like, what you're trying to get across here, bad English. Like, are you trying to use this as a defense towards something, or... Uh... Like, just saying people are shitty everywhere. Because that's kind of my answer is, yeah, people are shitty. Just saying, okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I mean, I, I would ask for a source for that, too. Um... Don't put a link in, uh, like if you get, if you find a link to the news story, um, then we can allow a link, but, uh, I, that doesn't sound like something that's ever happened. Um, I'm sorry. That sounds like something you might've heard from somebody wanting to pretend that they're actually persecuted. But yeah, I'd say Google that and, uh, let's, let's see if we can find an actual source for that. Not saying it's not possible. It's really fucking possible. <laughs> People kill each other over stupid things. There's a guy shot here for a parking spot. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, the LA Times works. Uh, go, go ahead and uh, permit him, Andrew Dan. Thank you. I would call the LA Times uh, reliable. I think we're on our last book here. Oh, damn it. If bad English, you didn't wait. You were supposed to wait. <laughs> Hold him to wait. Too late. Too late. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got to wait for the permit. Otherwise, not Nightbot throws a fit. All right, let's... I, I'm actually curious about this. AD2 is bludgeoned to death at Lancaster Hospital. Wow. Beat a fellow patient to death with an oxygen mask. 82-year-old Latino man be treated for COVID infection in a two-person room. Reportedly became upset with the victim. A Catholic started to pray. Well, that's not Christian. Wow. Uh, wow. I mean, again, can't say I'm surprised. Uh, people are shitty everywhere. Yeah, yeah, people are shitty. We had some Nigerian neighbors who were refugees from their civil war over Christianity. Kindest, most amazing people and weren't even evangelical. Religious persecution of any kind is disgusting. Any persecution of any kind is disgusting, honestly. If you're not hurting other people, you're fine. Okay, so... I guess we can sleep now because we're not in pain. Good. Need to eat something. Um, I just, I'll eat an entire pork chop. No, I can make a stir fry. Shit, no I can't. Uh, the only frying pan I had, I... Uh, fuck, I can't do that. <laughs> the only frying pan that I had, I turned into a weapon. I cannot make stir fry. What would drive somebody to do that? Like, hey, yeah, I'm really sick. I'm gonna start praying, because I'm really sick. Let me beat you to death for it? I mean, he's 82 years old and he's Catholic. What other time? <sighs> That's when you fucking pray! <laughs> Isn't that what praying is for? Again, like, somebody here was, uh, like, killed over a parking spot. Like, people are shitty everywhere. I'm no longer surprised. <sighs> Just really disappointed. All right, that's four things of protein. Pepper. Salt. Make a bowl with two holes, put a thing that can go through those, and boom, makes you a frying pan. <laughs> you make meat stew. Might get annoyed if someone was praying loudly in a place of stuck in, but that's not a killing offense, right? It's you kind of scowl at them. Killed over new game consoles. I've seen those articles. Yeah, yeah. Seen that too. Um, I've seen people killed, like, there, there is literally, um, a, uh, a, a, a website that goes up every Black Friday, uh, for how many people have died that Black Friday. And there's always numbers. Every Black Friday.
Apocalypse makes people crafty, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I like I've got a baking pan in there, but you can't use baking pans in game. So, man, what do we do with all the rest of this time? Like, I finished all the books. <laughs> I'm just kind of sitting around now, making soup. Pork chop soup. Now I've made myself sad. Did I turn off the stove last night? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Um, we're pretty close to heading to the lake base, actually. Like, uh, maybe a day or two. Um, yeah, we're, we're pretty good right now, actually. Can you butcher the mouse when it's not, oh, you can't cause it's frozen. Okay. Um, let's see. We've got farming mechanics, tailoring and fishing books done. Um, I'm going to look for a carpentry for intermediates. Boom. Awesome. Oh. Burpees. What do you say your record was for survival time? My record's a couple months. I've made it a couple months at least before. In fact, I deleted that one because I got bored with it. I made an entire like custom building and everything. No, no, that one I died because of uh um I forgot. <laughs> that one I actually died because of exposure. Almost never touch canned food unless it's your last food resource. Um, it depends. It depends on what I want to eat, what kind of uh I actually like mentally keep a tally of nutrition. Like, believe it or not, I actually mentally keep a tally of nutrition uh, and like what I'm eating and how often. Like right now, I'm really high on protein and salts. Um, I need to watch. I, I'm going to get. Oh, no, but I'm pretty good on carbohydrates. Very low on fats and sugars. Actually, I should be good on fats. Sugars, I'm very low on, but that's fine. I'm at 77 pounds. I'm losing weight, though. It's really hard to keep your weight up in this game. Next to impossible. Wish it was that way in real life. Know what I'm saying? Then again, in real life, I'm not running around killing zombies. There we go there. Let's do a bunch of burpees. Eat an entire thing of pork chop soup. And go to bed. My goal is to survive 30 days. My goal is to make it till winter. I've never made it to winter before, and I've always wanted to. Okay, now before my pain gets too high, we need to... S oh, too much pain already. God damn it. Why do I have alcohol? Uh, nope. I worked out too much. I take painkillers right now, but I kind of want to save those. Well, like if I get injured or scratched. Yeah, let's let's take them. Fuck it. Just asleep. I'm not doing literally anything else right now. Oh yeah, you don't you you don't want to start in January. You want to start like during the spring or summer so you can really get used to the game.
Also, do need to mention, every single, like, day that I'm in here, the zombie hordes outside are growing bigger. So I can't do this forever. Ooh, I know what to do. Let's boil some eggs. I can't, like, fry them, but I can... Definitely boil them. Oh, I could make omelets, actually. I forgot I could do that. Yeah, that works. Omelets. We'll cook these. Um, yeah, we're in good shape here. Turn off. Go ahead and toss these in here. We can probably make something with them. You can't make a, anything out of like omelets and ketchup, which I find weird. I start in March. There's snow sometimes and stuff, but it warms up quick. Start on Thanksgiving. Now, you you, you want to start, like, in order to really get good at the game and get enough practice, you want to try to start at a very nice time, like spring, summer, something like that. The game, uh, by default, starts you in summer. Have you ever done the Ancestry thing? Um, that's kind of a complicated situation with my family, uh, because we don't know. Um, we've traced back my mother's side a lot of the way. Uh, but my dad's side, all we know is that a couple generations ago, my grandpa, uh, my great grandpa, and his uh, his younger brother were kicked out of Texas and told to change their name and to never come back. I have no idea why. Oh, there's a huge pack of duct tape. I didn't even know that. I've had electricity for intermediates, but no electricity for beginners. Yeah, like, what do you do to get kicked out of Texas? I mean, yeah, it was over 100 years ago, but, like, still, what do you do to get kicked out of Texas, y'all? Oops. Nope, stop. Hit the wrong buttons. And now we sit. <sighs> Damn. Damn it. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Now we stand. We do it again. Whoa! Jesus Christ! What the fuck? I didn't even hear them beating on the door. Not cool. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I think we're leaving. I mean, your guess is as good as mine, Durkatan. One second. Oh, shit. No, don't, don't, stop. Oh my god. I did not tell you to grab everything. Fuck, I just had to cough. All right, so I think we're leaving. Um, I might, I might give up on like the rest of the shows. <laughs> God damn it! 
Fucking double click. That was scary. Okay, the vitamins I'm taking with me. Because they can keep me awake. I just dropped all this shit on the ground for some weird ass reason. Can you board up the windows? Yes, with planks and nails, of which I have neither. All right, so gear on. Where's my gear? Where is my gear? There it is. How do you w realize boxes? What do you mean? Oh, no, the hockey helmet was the same. But I like the look of it better. Where's my welding mask? There you are. And now I need a jacket. Um, you know, I think I'm good to go. It was a small mob, but it was enough that I feel like I should leave. So on a rainy day, I get kicked out of my own house. I almost forgot those garbage bags. Um, I still need to make, I still want to make a bag of perishables. So I can just like, if I stop somewhere that has a fridge for the night, just like toss the bag in there and go. The hell's my backpack? There you are. Yeah, let's just, all of this can just go right in. And this way I can keep track of all of it very easily as well. Uh, that can stay in there. The garbage bags will go with me. The window's like your inventory the same way you move any window. I got two hours. I can wait two hours. The hell is this thing? You. Here's a small. Oh, the uh, da da there's an arrow in the uh, lower corner here. Those are not set. That's fine. No problem. I'm I'm I really like helping people. I need to look at how to make guns in this. Because I know that that's a thing. With that scrap gun mod. Uh, this I want to put in my glove box. I do not need to be taking seven pairs of tweezers with me. <laughs> I'll take the chips. I uh, don't need the coffee. 
I'm looking for things that I can, like, eat on the road, you know, on the go. As well as making sure that none of these watches have alarms set. Good. Okay. Uh, am I just, like, stalling? I think I might be stalling. Pretty sure I'm stalling. All right, watching the last show. Back in this corner. And then we'll go. Nothing educational. Cool. Sorry, you're crossing the line. Are you a Republican? No. Uh, but I think that's enough uh, politics for the day. All right. Off we go. Take a stop by the gas station, of course, just to make sure we're full. Uh, I've got a TV in my, uh, in my passenger seat, actually. I took that from another house. Before I go... Shotgun, please. I will take this shotgun. Because that is fan-fucking-tastic. Because, and I cannot stress this enough, you can shoot shotguns and any you can do anything with your window rolled down from your truck. I don't know if you know how amazing that is. Pretty standard streamer policy to not discuss politics. Yeah, exactly. Like if, it, like with the LGBT thing, like if we did that, that's all I'd be doing. And I, I tried, I try not to let all discussions devolve into that because, like, you have to be kidding me. It's the helicopter. That would have forced me to leave anyway. <clears throat> well, it's a good thing we're leaving. Bye. See you, Riverside. Actually, I think this is West Point. I don't remember what town this is, but bye. I mean, it's that, and also, like, I don't give a shit if you disagree with me. I'm not gonna, like, ban you for disagreeing with me on something as long as you don't get, like, horribly offended or whatever about it. Uh, we had a kid that was coming in a while ago, uh, who was a big Trumper. Big Trumper. Um, and every single time anybody made a Trump joke, which it's really easy to make Trump jokes, he would always go, hey guys, can we not, um... And eventually be like, yeah, guys, let's just not talk about politics. And then the whole thing came around where he was trying to nullify um, uh, gay marriages. And somebody brought it up in stream, and I went, yeah, he's a fucking monster. And the kid went, no, hey, maybe he had his reasons. And my response was, no, 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 no. No, fuck that. I could put up with a lot. I could put up with a lot. You're never allowed to defend somebody for being a monster. For absolutely no reason other than I think gay people are icky. The fuck is that person wearing on their head? That was their hair.
<laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I've got this shotgun. I should save the ammo. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. Like, there's disagreeing, and then there's trying to hurt somebody. For absolutely no reason, other than that you feel you have the power and want to. And there's, I can't put up with, the, I can't put up with that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't like bullies. Yeah. Why would you? I'm trying not to go too fast because I don't want to, like, my hood is already pretty caved in. And once the hood is gone, that means that any other damage is going to start affecting uh, the engine. And so I need to be very careful about that. Because that can make the, the tro oh, wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Kind of wish I had the shotgun there. Where are you going to? I actually want to check the map really quick. <laughs> All right, so I have left here. Took this road out. Pretty sure it was this road. Yeah, I just hit here. So I just keep going south and it'll eventually lead me to where I want to go. And at the next turn, I take a left. I am attempting to get here. <laughs> oh, thank you, bad English. Bad English didn't hydrate. Uh. All right, here comes the second wave for the helicopter. This is actually a really good place for the helicopter to be out. Um, it'll attract all the zombies to the area that I'm currently in. Including the ones in town. It won't attract the ones that have not spawned yet. So the ones that are actually in the town that I'm heading towards uh, will not be attracted to this. But the ones that were in the town I just left will be coming this direction. And uh, this is a good time to do it because they'll kind of forget about me out in the wilderness. I've never experienced the helicopter event. We demand pets. To, I don't know what you mean. Do you... I kind of been turning the webcam off lately just because I just haven't felt it, you know? Plus, it takes up a lot of the screen, so. Anyway, yeah, the helicopter event is a helicopter kind of circles around you, makes a lot of noise, it attracts zombies for miles around. I don't need to see it, I need you to do it. Well, you you redeemed posture check. Oh, pet the kitty. Well, I can pet Willow, she's under my foot. That's a good girl. Let's not go off-roading. Oh, hey, remember this place? Boston Terrier? Yeah, you said that last time. I really, I really want to hear more about people's pets, though, so <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, I wanted to check this place, because this place had a tool shed. This was the place that I almost got my neck bit out last time, so we're going to be careful about that. Oh. Seeds. Plank I don't need to bring. God damn it. Ah. 
A needle. Yes, I have everything I need uh, to be able to make armor. Or at least armor up what I've got. There's your wife stream. Uh, she did for a while, but she works way too often. Yeah, not this time. All right. Helicopter's coming back the, for the third wave. My zomboid is trying not to load. I'm sorry. Okay, no new book. I'm just going to make a quick look at everything here. Grab what I need and go. I don't want to stay here. Yeah, my save was corrupted last time, too, which is why we had to start a new character this time. It's really sad. Eh, let's just go. I don't want to stay in one place with the helicopter out. God, I've barely used any gas getting this far. I think, I don't know, it was really weird. Everybody had a problem with their saves. I mean, it, it happens. the The current build is I will back is called I will back up my save. Uh, if it's a corrupted save, it will have a uh, red uh, text on it saying this save cannot be found or is corrupted. when you try to load it. So the third wave from the helicopter should be the last one. Red Ring of Death, yes, exactly. That's exactly it. So all the zombies should be coming out towards this direction that load up. Uh, hopefully that's it, and I don't get like a fourth wave when I reach the house I'm going to be going to, because that would suck. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to take a different house this time as well. I mean, there's three of them there. I can kind of pick and choose which one I want. But I think I'm not going to take the front one. I think I'm going to take the brick one that was in the back. I kind of liked it a little bit better. <clears throat> and then I can, like, build walls around the whole thing and just make it a giant fortress. And there's the left. I'm actually almost there. It took me less than a day to drive there. It took me three days last time. What changed? Whoa. Oh, I want to have some fun. Hey, Yavi. That's so much fun. <laughs> that's, a, that's a military bag. I need that. Mine. God, this is really hard to aim. Because it affects driving like this. It's really strange. But hey, I got it. All right, now that that's done, let's loot. That was pretty. Oh, that was a lot of fun. 
right, we're going to get these spent shotgun rounds as well, because I can remake those later. Uh, I just found a house with two piles of clothes on the floor in the hallway, and then I found two zombies in their underwear in the bedroom. Yes, yes. Um, I have found those, except it's been like a pile of like five different pairs of clothes, and there's like a bunch of zombies in the a bunch of naked zombies in the bathroom. Uh, Muse and I called it the orgy house. Yeah, exactly. The orgy house was uh, that was fun. Uh, my my vehicle's fast enough. I'm I'm kind of keeping it slow on purpose. Ooh, is this a good jacket? This is a good jacket. Yes. Now I really look like a just the the best in serial killer attire. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, twenty seven capacity. Holy crap! Military camo pants. Uh, Take these military boots. Yeah, I'll leave the military camel pants. However, a fucking bonnie hat. Yeah. Last thing I expected to find, seriously. Nothing wrong with a pet spider. They're loyal, do their thing, take care of everything smaller than them. Uh, she doesn't bite. Yeah, a lot of pet spiders actually don't bite. Like, they only bite if threatened, and if they feel you're safe, like, they're not going to bite you. There we go. And while I'm driving... I reload. So that was fun and profitable. I will do a lot of things in the name of fun and profit. Uh, I think my favorite zombie... Uh, Zombie event. Nope. Don't need to bother with that. Whoop, 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 whoop. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? That is some type of weapon. He has in his back. I think that's a... Oh, it's just a hockey stick. Never mind. My sister collects bugs. Her spiders are cute. She really likes mantises and isopods. Because mantises and isopods are adorable. Her little pill bugs. And she's got, like, the, the prettiest damn mantises, too. I think uh, my favorite zombie event is probably the tinfoil hat zombies. You'll find like a bunch of zombies wearing tinfoil hats and if you get into the house that they have, there's like a bunch of bomb making stuff in there. And there's of course, you know, the party zombies where their house is filled with booze and cake. They all have party hats on. I love the little zombie events. Oh, hello, what is this? You might have some good gear. I'm going melee. Hi. Gentlemen. I just found a group of hunters. See, this is the, the one that I was telling you about, Muse. Like, just a ton of hunters. That are just kind of hanging out in the woods, wearing a bunch of camo gear, usually have a bunch of ammo. Shooting glasses, damn. And like tents and stuff. Yeah, I told you about this one. Like, this is cool. Lots of leather gloves, too. Camo hunting vest. Can I wear this, like, with this? Oh my god, that's stupid looking. I love it. Daryl Dixon's. 
There's a trap. They left traps here. Can I take these? Yes, I can. LOL. Oh my god, I've got free traps. Kind of wonder if I should like spend the night here. That's amazing. I'm so happy. That's a really good find. Plus, once I get to my new place, I can start trapping immediately. I only need to take the one tent. I don't need two of them. Why am I in pain? Oh, I'm getting exercise fatigue now? Okay. So I'm just going to leave a bunch of naked men on the road. Wait a minute. Where am I? Oh, I'm right here. Okay. I can get to a house by nightfall. I have barely used any gasoline. This is beautiful. This uh, trip is going much, much better than the last one did. I can outfit myself in, like, full military gear. Can you go inside tents? No, you can use them to sleep, though. Uh, if you're out in the wilderness. Okay, provided it's empty, I'm going to take the house in the back. Uh, this one is... no, nah, this one isn't closest. You can say this one is closest to the water, but not really. I mean, this one would actually be pretty close to the river. I just like it more, I think. What do we think? Same house as last time, or this brick house? I like how you were cruising in black, both parts matched. I agree. I love it. Watch there be a house alarm. No, that's pretty good. You think this brick one too? Nice garage. Nice kitchen. Yeah, I, I kind of like the layout of this one too. A lot better than the other one. I'm hearing banging upstairs. Nope. Hello? even got a study. Maybe it's in another house. Great big upstairs, though. Yeah, it sounds like there might be something outside. Let's uh, let's go take that out. Clear the way. Oh god, was that the back door? No. Okay. Alright, we're going to do a quick uh, patrol here. Hello? Probably should open the front door. Hello? You miss, did I miss a door upstairs? I thought I didn't. I thought I got in them all. In we go. If I can climb stairs like a normal human. All right, we got in here, closet there. Study in the closet. Closet, closet. Ah, good eye. It's the homeowner. Yep, mine now. <laughs> in the master goddamn bedroom. 
in the kitchen and a closet in the master bedroom. Oh, wow. I'm just not that observant, am I? I'm going to make a deal with myself. If I find a shovel, I'm burying him. Yeah, that guy would have been troublesome. I agree. Okay, so... Um... I'm going to wash everything. Hold on. I forgot to put my socks in there. I accept payments in headpants and pog chips. You're on Twitch and you don't know, know what a pog chip is? It's a... It's a... a, a probably one of the most popular emotes. Uh, it's time to go to sleep. I don't know why I'm fucking around. I don't have a mop, but I can make one. So I'm going to sleep in the kids' room tonight. Just because it's it's dirty in the other one. Experiencing too much pain. Oh. Well. That That's unfortunate, then. player of the game. I have no idea what its uh, origin is. The face was some guy and then like it got weirdly political for some strange reason. I have no clue. No, they brought it back. Um, by popular demand, they brought it back, but every single day it changes into somebody new. Where the hell? Oh, I'm at a place with a bat with a fridge. I should freeze my food. There we go. And where's my painkillers? God, I've got a lot of stuff. Toss you in there. Take some painkillers. Stop walking into a wall. And now time to go sleep. Uh, but it's uh, about 4.30 right now. I want to keep streaming right now. But I need to go to the bathroom really bad. So I'll be back in like a minute or two.
<clears throat> I am back. Wow, there's a little lot of talking. As far as I'm aware, it was a guy making funny faces on YouTube. The Pocket Champ face was one of them. You know Reddit. You see something like they meme. The guy got offended years later and tried to sue platforms on Twitch, or at least I, I don't know. <laughs> okay whatever you guys want to do i'm just glad you're having fun my my, my, my chat is weird oh, laundry's done ah waking up in a new home completely buff naked except for a giant military backpack an axe and a welding mask that's how I want to live my apocalypse. Is there a television here? There's no television here. <laughs> I just realized. There's no television in this whole house. It's really a good thing I brought one with me. <clears throat> okay, so... Library. Can we change the topic back to something fun, like how Omni dies? I don't disagree. All right, it is now six o'clock, and there's nothing on television. Nope, there's what? But it's day ten. I got no skill from that. It was a rerun. Sigh. Oh my god, I just noticed the backpack moves independently of the character. I don't know why, but that tiny little touch is actually super cool. Okay, what do we want to like dress ourselves up as? Like, just wear normal clothing. Like, this will be my going out outfit, but this is my normal everyday outfit. Maybe without the welding mask. Eh, why not? Now, where's that big hiking bag? There you are. Secondary, and... It's good. Do they do holiday events? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, yes, there's a mob here. Thank goodness. All right, all of this... Right into the fridge. And you get frozen. You get frozen. Let's eat a couple omelets here. Because I can just eat those straight now. All right. And this, equip primary. Moving day. I mean, I don't think they do because Halloween came and went and like New Year's and like Christmas and there was nothing, so. Leave the gas can in there. I'm just going to haul this stuff inside and I'll organize it later. You know the drill. I don't even know why I'm telling you. I don't need to tell you guys nothing. You know exactly what's happening here. So much stuff. We have the biggest goddamn bags. I mean, holiday events are usually for games that, like, involve a lot of multiplayer, and this game does not involve any multiplayer. Multiplayer is an option, uh, but it's not the main focus of this game. Nor is... Uh, like retention you know like they don't have to convince people to constantly come back 
which could be nice, could be a mistake. I don't know. Uh, like at the time, I remember uh, there was a lot of modders that had like Christmas trees and stuff like that that you could put in. So the the, the modding community is pretty active, and I think that makes up for a lot of missed opportunities. I'm really glad that I uh, succeeded in my goal this time, getting this place back. And I think, honestly, ex I I'm doing a little bit better. Uh, last time, for example, I didn't have a Weldy mask. <laughs> and that was kind of what killed everything. Those are 15. Yeah. There we go. And that's all of it. Uh, this water dispenser... I will put here. We will swap things out of it as need. Um, trying to think of like where to put the popsicle fridge. Well, a couple things I need to drop off first so I can have to wait. I think I'll have the popsicle fridge just like opposite side of this thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. You found one in a motel by a trailer park. What? A uh, one of what? A Christmas tree. All right, it's noon. I don't. I don't see anything. We had a cooking show in the morning, but it didn't teach me anything. Uh, yep, that's the end of the shows. Okay. As expected, but I expected it to come sooner. I'm not upset. I had a character actually live all the way through it, so that's nice. Okay, uh, let's, let's think here. Uh, let's go ahead and loot the rest of everything. Can I take this? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to get any uh, tunes, but I'm actually going to have this plane. Might give me a little entertainment and, lack of, and uh, help with the boredom. Kentucky Radio. Yeah, let's loot the whole house first, and then I'll organize everything after that. I guarantee there's a lot of stuff here. Also, I'm going to have to board up a lot of this place. There's so much stuff. There's so many windows. That came with its own bourbon. Somebody left me a housewarming gift. How kind. Nothing in there. Better to build fence or board up windows. Uh, neither will keep zombies out. Uh, board up windows first, though. I'll put cleaning stuff in this room. Uh, break you. Yeah, break all of this. Thank you. 
I don't know what my character is doing with this hand motion. It's kind of weird. Oh, there's a more stuff in there. Interesting. I always forget to check my garbage bags to make sure that they're empty. Uh, another radio. That'll probably do to be dismantled later. Comb. The thumping is never loud enough. Like, there's so many times that I think I'm hearing something. I'm going to have to clean this up. Pool cue. Must be a prized pool cue. Okay. Can't get around this. <laughs> uh, this game sometimes is weird. And it looks like there was no, there's no radio going on. Okay, so that's all of my stuff. Why am I still overweight? Right. Actually, I struck the axe and the shotgun now. The painkillers. Um, all, all the cigarettes. Let's take the crafted spears, and I will make sure that one stays on my back at all times. So I have the ability to take all of these spears with me. The shotgun shells will stay there. Um, hmm. Oh, I know what I want to do. I'm going to go into the other houses. See if I can get some storage shelves. It's also stopped raining. It's quite a bit of stuff, but I mean, I'm, I get loot happy. Oh boy, do I ever. Oh, wood glue. In, a, in one of these. That could possibly mean... I was gonna say that could that could mean a uh, farming house instead, and woo! As I was saying, I could really use the seeds. Clear the house, then loot. Clear the house, then loot. Ah, uh, welding mask. <laughs> Empty farming for beginners, which I've already read. Ah, yes, bleach. I needed that to clean my upstairs. Man, television in the bedroom. In the 90s, that was a big thing. Like, I remember, like, in the 90s... Like my friends had, like one of my friends had their own computer that they bought with their own money from like doing chores around the house. And it was the most amazing thing. Like, who buys a computer? Computers are horribly expensive. You buy a console, everybody had a Nintendo. That wasn't the 90s. You know what I mean? Okay. This is what I came here for. Or 20 pounds a piece, Jesus. I do, and my good run of bad luck with cars has made it difficult for me to keep stuff. I always have to pick and choose. I understand. Now you can watch various things on it. I mean, now I carry 
all entertainment and all the knowledge of the known universe in my pocket. Okay, place you here. Well, this goes on the ground. I will organize the food later. I'm pretty hungry. No, I'm not. Never tell how red this hunger moodle is. Okay, in we go. Nice, this one was unlocked. Fingers crossed, there's no... Uh... Willow, no! Damn dog. That dog walks by several times a day. No one is afraid of you. You are very small. Now she's just sitting on my desk boofing. Like the dog's gonna hear her and be frightened. I mean, likely that dog would be frightened of her. It's, it's a well-known thing that, like, the bigger the dog, the more scared it is of everything. What antivirus do you use? Uh, you're going to have to... I, I, I actually forget which one I use, like, off the top of my head. You're going to have to ask other people in stream for a recommendation. Whatever I have, it does its job automatically, and that's all that matters to me. Nothing. Uh, this, this. The rest of it goes on the floor. In fact, I need to start, start dropping junk on the floor for when I come back to take this place apart brick by brick. Take the bath towel. Uh, during the winter, or whenever it's very, very cold, you want to have a bunch of towels around. Uh, they will. Uh, you can dry off with them. I know that seems very obvious, but it's not. I think, uh, oh, yeah, I use malware bytes. That's what I use. Because Windows Defender doesn't entirely do the job. Box of nails! Hells yes! All I was lacking. Well, and a propane torch. But still, box of nails. That's going to help so much. <laughs> yes. I need to update that list. It's been a bit. Well, been a couple days. I've gotten like two new mods, I think. Okay, so uh, all gear and guns are going to go on these shelves. I need a trash can. Did any of these places have a trash can in them? I don't remember. Other than me, ah. Uh... Well, I guess we'll just do what we did last time and dump all the dump all the trash in the back of the truck and go drop it later. I'm gonna eat this whole candy cane. Nom 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 nom. Book. Fork. Pens. Keep one pen. Man, I feel like I'm just repeating everything that I did last time. I kind of am. Okay, so first and foremost, we organize food. So all food-based things. I'll put the meat cleaver in there.
I forgot to set the category first. We'll put cleaning stuff in there too, because there's not going to be much cleaning stuff. All right, bowls, cooking pots, kettles, mugs, jar lids. Actually, all of this. I can just. All of this. I got a lot of sugar and vinegar too, so if I actually find jars, I can jar some stuff for the winter. Which is good. All the beverages, canned foods, seeds, frozen foods. I should close my front door. <laughs> Just making myself a little nervous, that's all. Oh, I'm out of room. Oh, shit. Fine, I will take it in hand. Because that's probably the last of it. <sighs> yep, that's the last of it. Okay. Okay, until I need to separate things, I'm just going to literally put freaking all food in the fr Just everything's going to go in here. There's, there's no reason to separate right now because I don't have enough uh, to, to worry about it. You know, let me select everything. Oop, I put the bleach in there too. Not a big deal. For some reason we could fit a mop in here. I just work here. So bleach. I think that was correct. Freeze. 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 Yeah, there we go. Um, put that in there, grab the mop. I'm going to go clean up really quick because there was a dead body upstairs. And that's my room. I would like it back soon. Oh my god! Maybe I shouldn't be running everywhere. He says, running everywhere. A little more. Damn, that, that guy by just that guy made a mess. I mean, it was his house. I suppose he's allowed. Okay, uh, let's pick this thing up. Take it with us. Now drop this thing downstairs. on the other side of this one this will be all my equipment because these two metal shelves i can guarantee will not hold all the equipment in fact i might replace these later with uh lockers i guess lockers would make more sense all right what's next cleaning There's still some food in here. Damn. Almost lost an entire can uh, jar thing of milk. The entire junk collection. Uh, I'll take that notebook too. And these forks and spoons will also be junk. Did the television just turn on and I didn't notice? What? I swear I just heard the television noise. That was weird. Okay, all junk will go in the back of the truck. 
It will later be dumped into zombies. Oh, wait, I have a body right here. I can fit eight pounds into that. First, we tear up all of his clothing, get our thread out of that. And then we just start dropping junk on him. Uh, bodies will rot away and are an excellent way to just get rid of junk. Let's clean all those rags. Put my bottle. Wash up, and then I think it's time for bed. Also, before I forget, I need to start doing my burpees again. I'm going to lose regularity if I don't. Half hour of burpees. Turn off the light. Uh, I don't have cigarettes. Damn it. And now I'm in extraordinary pain and have to walk all the way down while very tired. Damn it. Cigarettes, cigarettes. I think I'll actually take all my fire lighting stuff and cigarette. No, I don't want to take it upstairs. I want to put it in the uh, equipment. Uh, let's grab half. For once, I'm closing all my doors and sleeping in relative safety. I have a fanny pack for my cigs and matches. I haven't found one yet, but that's generally what I do too. Cigs, matches, some bandages, alcohol, sw alcohol wipes. All right, back to work. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to take the welding, got the welding mask off. I feel like it's just silly to be wearing it if I'm not, you know, doing anything with it. I grew a beard. Yeah, this will go into my uh, my gear that I wear if I'm going to go combat. Uh, otherwise, it's just putting weight on me for no reason. I love it when my character grows a beard. I find that absolutely hilarious. I don't know why. Just that's something that like I've only ever seen in like Don't Starve Together, you know? Okay, cowboy hat, uh, these leather jackets. Only one of them is in good enough condition to keep. Let's dump all let, let's cut up all of these actually. Just get that. Crowbar, lighters, lockpicks. Tools will go in there too. Yeah. And just a couple more things. Okay, we've got a good leather jacket. Um, let's not put the spoons in there. The can openers will toss because we only need one ever. And the wood axe goes in there. Oh, it got loud when I got out of here. That was a little scary. <laughs> like ambience just like, I stepped outside and the ambience just erupted in my ear.
That might be a car outside. I'm not sure. <laughs> books? Yeah, books next. We'll start with the videotapes. You know, I should make sure that I'm actually covering like this whole section that the books are going to be in. All right, all the magazines and all the videotapes. Oop, damn it. I forgot to turn this off. No alarm. Okay, so all the magazines, all the videotapes will go over here. This is my learning corner. Because all of it is technically watched, although I should go through all the magazines to make sure. Aha, see, there's some that are unread. And those are cage trap. Those are trap magazines, too. Okay, all of you will go over here with the magazines that I've read. Okay. Uh, let's drop stuff on the floor here because I don't need to carry all of it. Uh, scissors can go down there. Okay, there we go. And now books. Um, I'm probably going to put entertainment books somewhere else because they're pretty big. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a hammer and a screwdriver. I'm going to get another bookshelf. Where's my hammer? I bet it's in tools. And I just missed it. Map. Tools. Yep. I need to grab all the tools. Oh, grab one for my inventory. And then the rest of these... I go like so. Huh, I wonder how I miss so much. Including five can openers. I guess I just wasn't close enough to the whole pile. That happens. So many can openers. This is silly. All right, let's go find another bookshelf. Um, I just, I know it's it's not necessary to have things be aesthetic, but damn, does it make me happy? Hey, where'd you come from? Would you like some can openers? Local gamer murders woman and then rips all of her clothing apart. Okay, now did I actually pick it up? I did. Good. Man, I hope this oak shelf, uh, oak wood shelves match what I've already got. Pretty sure it does. But it might be darker. That'll annoy me. Ha ha! Perfect. Okay. This helps me not have to run back and forth constantly to dump garbage, you know? Especially 11 spoons and 8 can openers. She couldn't take all the can openers into her underwear. 
It's just irresponsible, I tell you. Well, lucky, luckily this guy in here, he can take him for me. What a nice fella. I have the best neighbors. I never found a shovel. Hmm. You can't make a shovel. Probably because, you know, it's not really that important to bury bodies. Okay, these two I'm going to put into the equipment shelf. Because I will occasionally take those when there's a lot of loot. The garbage bags, though, are going to go over into here. Back onto books. Oh, the radio's making noises. Okay. That's what I keep hearing. All right, there's my Red's bookshelf. And now we just, I know that we don't need a lot of these. Oh man, I get a little crazy when it comes to loot. I don't know if you've noticed. It's a problem. All right, now duplicates I will grab and go throw into a pile somewhere. I said I wasn't going to have them, but it's kind of impossible not to when I wasn't combining all of my loot in the uh, back of the truck and the trailer itself. God, how many copies of Advanced Mechanics did I have? All these, I'm just going to go pile up right next to the fireplace. And I just realized it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm over my five hour mark, which is over the four hour mark I usually try and give myself. And like, I don't even know if anybody's even watching anymore. <laughs> because it really does occur to me, I could be doing this all off stream. So I think I'm going to go do that. <laughs> you are okay. Like I wasn't I wasn't entirely sure. I mean, it's just organizing stuff. It's not horrifically exciting. Okay, you can go there. Have I not read Metal Warfare for Intermediaries? Well, I can't do anything with it anyway. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I completely messed up everything I was doing here. Shit. <laughs> All right, metal work for intermediates. I need to read. Let's tailor for beginners. I've read. God damn it! I messed up everything I was doing. All 
right, I'm going to grab duplicates here. Bad English redeemed hydrate. You got it. <sighs> all right. So all these magazines are good to drop. We know that. There's so many damn books in this game that it's really hard to keep track of them all. And I think that I might have ran out of room in this bookshelf already. I only ever need one copy of each book, though. The rest are just junk. And like Forging for Beginners, I've read. So that can be tossed over to the next one. Um, Mechanics for Beginners, I read. All right, Taylor for Beginners, I read. Good stuff. All right. Stay thirsty. <laughs> and let's go through this one again. I also need to take these videotapes. Like, I know that, like, putting all of this stuff into bookcases isn't necessary, but I'm not going to put it anywhere else. Aha, I did have two of those. Do you keep the ones you read in case you die? Yep, that's exactly why. Just grab it all. And I think there's some magazines down here I haven't read. For some reason they didn't show up into literature. Don't know why. But I can learn how to make guns. Or bullets. I might actually know how to make guns already. I haven't actually checked that out yet. All we have, the only seeds we have is broccoli. Is that four Farming for Beginners books? Wow. Yeah, it was. All right. Another check here for duplicates. Oop. Yep, there's one. And here we go, good cooking, good not monthly, and then the two that I had to start. Wow, lots that I had to stop to read. That is a duplicate now. They should add bow and arrows, that would be dope. Uh, there are mods that do, uh, and also for crossbows. I don't know why they've ad they haven't added them into the game yet. Because they really belong. They really do. Is that all my books? No. I think that's it. That's it. Okay, good. Uh, so let's check my Gunnut Monthlies. That's 92 Magnum Edition. Yes. And yes. Yay, that's the hardest part. About to add some mods to my game. Oh, man. You're about to get into the most addicting part of the game. Seriously. It gets bad. It gets bad. Um, you know, I'm just going to dismantle all this shit. I don't have an electronics, electronics for beginners. Um, book read, but like, 
this stuff is just going to be taking up a lot of room and i've got one for intermediates so i'm just going to dismantle it all i got 14 watches here 14 y'all yeah that's that's a that's a weird amount Uh, green light bulbs are junk. They don't do anything. So I might as well throw those away. Uh, you gotta just uh, take in mind when you do use mods, sometimes, often, uh, they won't work or won't work exactly how you expect to or stuff like that. So don't just grab like every single mod you see. Be prepared for the fact that it's probably going to crash your game. A lot. Let's see. Baking pan is junk. I'm just going to do like one at a time things now. No, no, I'm not. Because I'd miss things and I have to be running all over my house. This is much more efficient. <sighs> Clothing. Into the armoire. Medical? Medical. Medical is pretty easy to do. Why am I running over here? I should put this in the bathroom. Oh my god! I'm stuck on a wall! There's no case in here. God damn it. Well, on the ground you go. I'll put a box in there later. Didn't I have a first aid kit? Oh no, that's in my truck now. Uh, trapping, fishing, and camping too. Why not? And cigarettes. Yes, all of this will go on the shelf. I thought I had a lot more cigarettes than that left. The rest of this should just be tools, except for the farming stuff, which I have one of. The rest of this goes in the garage. Yep. Back from pile in the living room to pile on the floor. Did I somehow turn the music off? I swear there hasn't been music all day. Either that or there's just nothing happening and the game got bored with me. Now that is clean. What do I do next? Start taking stuff apart? Uh, let's maybe eat. Maybe eat. I'm incredibly hungry. Also, I don't have a roasting pan or a... Um, or a stir fry pan. Huh. That's going to make things a little awkward. I do not know why that broadcast over the microphone. That was odd. Shouldn't have. Um, I, I guess I got to go into town. Because I can't make food. Or I could... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going a, I'm to a take a trip. Not at night. <laughs> it's nighttime. But let's do that tomorrow morning, how about? Let's see. Uh, any books I need to read? Try.
Trailers is a mod, yes. Auto Star Trailers. Probably my favorite mod. Hmm. 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 What mods do you recommend? That's a long list. Really depends on really like what you want to do. Uh, it's uh, fuck it. Let's do this. I'll make a small recommended mods list for you. <laughs> So let's see. And, 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 and. Auto Star Trailers, of course. Axes Recrafting is amazing because it allows you to repair axes. Uh, better sorting is an absolute must have. It's fantastic. Better towing works along with the Auto Star Trailers. Craft Helper is a, one of the best quality of life mods you can get. It tells you, you right click at an item and it can tell you what it can craft, what you need for it. Um, the rest, just kind of look through them and like see what you might like, you know? Primitive survival is great. But yeah, just like look through them and see what you might like. That's about all you can really do. Uh, but for everything else, I am actually going to call it a day right now. I've, um, I'm at five hours and 30 minutes, and it's I don't want to go too high. I don't want to go too, too far, because if there's anybody still on YouTube with me, I'll be surprised. But if you are watching on YouTube, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, make sure to follow on Twitch, follow on Twitter, join us on Discord. Oh, God. Ah! My chair just broke. <laughs>